There is a world as tangible as our own, impossible to see yet unavoidable to sense. A world enveloped by a seemingly unending ocean of forests. Buried deep in that forest, tucked away neatly within a blanket of twilight, lies a quaint little cabin. And in that cabin is a bunch of guys who's a bunch of bullshitter. Welcome to Sleepy Cass. <laughs> We've got the Pussy Spectacular tonight. Okay, for Christ's sake. All right. Yeah. Here we have uh, the man himself, the gross gorilla boy. <laughs> That's uh, gross. What do you uh, You got Zach. Wow, what a big penis everyone says. Guys, stop. I get it all the time. Ooh. I'm getting sick of it. All right, stop bothering me. I'm trying to make groceries. Uh, you got... Niall we got here. Niall here, guys. You know, it's me. That's the guy. Uh, that, that... We got Sabrina. Yeah. Woo! Fantastic. Oh, we also got... Whatever, Nikki, Nikki Max, Nikki Max, yeah, the yeah. Kelly Partridge, also known thing. as Ego Raptor. Yes. Oh <laughs> uh, yeah. Um, biggest fan. So today we're going to be talking about apples. Apples. Where do they come from? Green or red? What color is your favorite? Look, I like a bigger apple. Less of worms inside of it. The crispier, the better. What are you talking Honey about? Chris, look at the same shit. That is apples? the superior. Is that even worth your fucking Honey time? Honey, you got to ever have bullshit. Did you ever have Pink Lady? Are they pink? Yeah. There's what? an app called Pink oh, Lady. Yeah. Ask the me best if I've ever had apples. it. Yeah, the lady. Tiny apples? No, no. All ladies are pink except for some girls mm, with darker skin uh, are purple. Mm. Down there. Care careful now. Careful. You know that though. It's a fact. What? The ones with the brown nipples, they always have brown kind of purple. It's called ashy. Do they have ashy pussies? <laughs> Excuse me? It's ash. They, got, they got big. It looks, too, like someone, it looks like someone went to a bar, collected all the ashtrays, and just dumped it in their We pussy. were talking about apples here. What okay. it looks like is they were standing on a truck or whatever, and then the car crashed, and they flew off the top and landed on their pussy in the desert and skated around for a bit on it. It looks like, it looks like they were cooking something at the start, but it just briefly <laughs> fell up to the pussy, hit the stove for like four seconds, and they came back. They let it, they jolted the back of the pussy at the stove. You know what I'm talking about? Burn old pussy. <laughs> Oh, yeah. oh, we, know, we know what you're talking about. Us Nikki, show us that for pussy. Show us that for pussy. Show us that for pussy. Also, there's Granny Smith apples. That yeah, what about those apples? <laughs> apples, huh? Um, there's green apples. There's yellow apples. There's red. There's a mix. Yeah. I, I would seriously say, honestly, no, no goof on the side. A big red apple is the best. A big crunchy mm -hmm. red apple. Mm -hmm. Have you yeah. heard? Have I you got heard. those pussy little like kind of red apples that are circles. I'm talking about the big crunchy yeah, the red apples. Yeah, yeah, the ones with the like those big crisp fuckers. Yeah. Where you bite into speaking, them. speaking of apples, do you you had a story? You mentioned apples uh, about um, hmm. what was it? Zoe's Zoe's story? Grill or something? There's something to do with apples. Oh Zoe's yes, and very the guy. good segue. Yes. Yeah. I was with was Jeff. that intentional? I was with Jeff. No, it wasn't for real. <laughs> I was with Jeff a couple weeks ago, Johnny Utah. Uh, and mm -hmm. we were at this place called Zoe's Kitchen, and I got this, I got like a chicken salad, but there was like one piece of fucking chicken and a million apple slices, and they were green apples, and I used to like green apples, but I don't like them that much. So I picked them up, I was like, I'm just in the mood for like a chicken salad, I was very hungry. Just wanted chicken and fucking lettuce. And the dude walked over who like cut the apples, was like, what, you don't like apples? <laughs> And I was like, uh, he was like, he just grabbed, he took my tray of apples and he threw it away. What? Wow. I've never had somebody fucking hacked me personally when, about not eating. I bought, I could pay for, I could buy the food and throw it all away if I want to. Like you were was at your angry? table and he walked yeah, he was over like, and took he was it away. Angry. He was like snobby about it, but I can do whatever the fuck I want with my apples. Zach, if it makes you feel any better, I didn't know that story, but today I pissed off the Zoe's Kitchen workers because Zoe's Kitchen is right beside the Wawa's. What and is Zoe's Kitchen? It's, it's like, like this fucking gluten-free health shit. Oh, it's it's pretty good, but it's like a pretentious, yeah, you know, like bright colors. Like 20 bucks for like a like slice like of chicken. Lunch. But I pissed but them it's off. It's called a it's a whoa. Yeah. whoa. yeah, yeah. But I pissed them off today because I was buying uh, this my, this gentleman here a coffee that he's drinking right now. And That's I bought me a boys. coffee too, but I want to change the music on my phone. So I put it down on their table outside, and they were all looking at me like this from the outside, like, you Dude, can't do that. Shit. And I was like, <laughs> what? <laughs> yeah, but no, I, I actually cowered in fear and ran away, but. <laughs> Yeah, that, that happened. So, Zach, I, I got your revenge. Speaking of pissing people off, remember the guy we pissed off last week? Which guy? Me. You didn't piss him off. We did. No, he was. No, he was. Me and Nala were walking home from uh, dinner, and we were outside of our house. And then this, we crossed the road because oh, that guy. it's hard to cross the road right outside of our house. There's so much traffic. And then we crossed the road, and there was this guy walking towards us. And we crossed the road. He was like, hey! We were like, what? And he's like, I'm not that scary, am I? And we were like, no. And he was like, why'd you cross the road? And yeah, no, this guy looked like the he was scary. Just he, was he, he was fucking with you. He was fucking with you. He absolutely was fucking with you. He was not fucking. He looked like the stereotypical Vietnam vet. Eye yeah. patch, cane, yeah. and a huge big gray beard. And he was like, hey, I'm no. not that scary, am I? He Dude, seemed he saw, fine. He's seen so many dead bodies. No, like, I know. That sense of humor. He seemed fine. But then when we crossed the road, uh, we kept walking. We're like, we're, no, we, we live here. And he was like, oh. But then he kept walking. And he saw us walk more. And no, he was what? like, you're a fucking liar. Yeah, yeah, there were not two houses over, but he was like, 
No, I think what he what he was thinking was uh, all the like the Vietnamese people that were like really really terrified of him. They had flashbacks of people that were scared of him. He was like, Argh. he was no. just fucking with you. That's what everyone does when they're older. They fuck with younger. If I was, if I was his age, I would do the exact same yeah, thing. Like, why are you scared of rock? The kids run away. It's fun. It's what yeah. you do when you're I old. I can't wait to be old. I yeah. can't yeah. wait to be. I, I do that today. I did that today to 15 kids. Maybe that was just you in the future, Zach. Yeah, it's me That's tomorrow. You. Yeah, I came back for the past. You when you came out of the fucking womb. Yeah. The doctor threw me against the wall. I stirred like a rat to the table. Slithering monster. Benjamin button or whatever. Yeah. <laughs> um, there are also uh, apple tree apples, the ones that fall from the tree. Uh, what do you think of those ones? They suck. I hate them. Yeah, they're never as good as the ones you buy in the store. Oh, yeah. I disagree. Can I say? Mm -hmm. uh, there was an the apple from tree. Grandpa's backyard. No, that Grandpa. That Grandpa's. He had squirrels that used to drown. That's a true story. Did I tell a story? That no, no. My grandpa, he's Fucking like a World War II killer. vet. He's a green vet, but he's just—he's also. Uh, so he's seen some shit. He's seen some shit. He doesn't kill anymore. I've talked about it before. Clearly. He's he's a big <laughs> racist, but he's a, like a lovable racist. You know, we asked that by saying. His racism is not lovable, but he's a lovable guy who is a racist. Who happens to be a racist? He's one of those guys. I think I told the story about Martin Luther King Day. He was like, ah, it's Martin Luther King Day. Ah, and I was like, oh, grandpa, you can't say that. <laughs> Holy shit. Yeah, he's that kind of old guy. He just laughed, though. He didn't care. <laughs> he just watches uh, fucking Leave it to Beaver all day. But anyways. <laughs> Uh, so he he, he, he he hates he hates fuck he loves his like lawn and backyard yeah and he gets gophers and squirrels and shit and, like whenever he sees a gopher holes he just fucking throws smoke bombs at him and kills him <laughs> but he also used to take his when he was a little bit more like ten years ago he used to take his gun and shoot fucking squirrels from the trees in his backyard oh but what God. he does now is he he sets squirrel traps everywhere in his backyard and he gets myself or maybe now one of my younger cousins to just drop in the pool of water and make them drown. Oh my god. That's, yeah. that's cool. You know, I've seen some tracks where it's like, give a shit. He doesn't, what else is he gonna do? Fucking hit him with a brick or something? I don't know. That's funny. Like, like, if he got a wooden mallet, that would be the funny. He just jumps with a pool and yeah. his sister. I like how this Yeah, he, he doesn't take pleasure. He's just like, ah, I don't give a fuck. He drop. You don't know that. He's probably outside. He next could to be joking. I don't know. He's, 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 he's touching his little he's weird. Joking. He's joking. He could be joking, yeah. Have we talked about joking before? I don't know. Every guy just throws up because like, oh god, somebody else knows yeah. about joking. All you fuckers joke. This is something that like everyone, every man. Okay, okay. Ladies, you guys are for a treat. Jo jo every Jokey? guy listening, listening, every guy, yeah, this is this is a whole world you're about. Every guy listening knows about joking. Even everyone here, Jokey. and they didn't know that any other guy knows about joking. But every it's, guy it's knows an about egg it. I cracked. I, I because when state. you Google how to get a bigger dick, uh, it tells you about this technique called joking. It's where you take you, you lotion. Basically, you, you put a warm cloth over your dick or take a shower, and you take your hand like this and squeeze your cock. From base to tip, over like 30 minutes. Yeah. And there's usually guys with like big buff guys with huge cocks, like, I joke every day. He's like, whoa, dude. I've never, and then here's what I've everyone does it for like, like this. Everyone does it for like two days, like, man, that's too much. Yeah, I'm just gonna have a small no, but dick but and die. My thing is like, uh, it's the same as jacking off, really. You're kind of pulling, so I'm just jack off and my dick will get I was joking so before I knew what it was. Specifically for pleasure? No, no, it's it makes just to make your dick bigger. To get your dick bigger. Stretching your dick size. Is it scientifically proven? They say that your dick is made of these, like, this spongy substance. Like, yeah. And, uh, is, kind of. uh, yeah, so like you're kind of breaking up the sponges and uh, like it stretches it and then it fills in like It's the same theory as like working out your abs yeah, or biceps your, like, where it builds down and comes back <laughs> It doesn't work though I, I Yeah, you guys had no idea about this so, Ray, Can you imagine us like oh, in the shower like yeah, yeah. yeah. We take it's a little like, cloth oh. and like rub oh. our pussy lips I heard about tighter vagina exercises Someone told me a thing There are it. Yeah, someone told me a thing Is that the equivalent? Do you, go, do you guys like Google how no. to get tighter vagina? How did they tell no. you though? Come on, All the time, every morning I look at a new routine There's muscles or whatever like it's it's different for girls, obviously. There's no like, there's no equivalent to joking, I guess. But but when when you go pee, you, you stop midstream and you hold it for a little bit, and then you continue peeing, and then it's supposed to, you know, tighten it up. I can just pinch my tits. That's queefs. Muscles. I heard that occasional heard that. sex never, tightens I've the poops. I've never heard of this. I've See, I think, but I think it's funny because well, I don't think I think women underestimate how insecure guys are. Every guy is super insecure. You can have an age that can be like, man, like, at least you know, I want eight point five. It's not fair. Yeah. Well, isn't that weird? Wait, yeah. Oh, well, go ahead. When we talk about dicks, go on. And stuff, insult our small dicks, Sabrina. No, no. See sorry. if we care. I, I lost my internet dicks. Anyway. Well, when we talk uh, about dick sizes, Zach was always underselling himself because uh, every guy, like, are obviously going to do it at the pubic bone. Going, I didn't like, know you put it to the bone. Everyone was like, of course. Of course guys are going to do that though. You you mean, you guys are not, Wait, what? You, guys guys are, you push into the bone. Guys are going to do whatever makes you push it into the bone. Yeah, not guys, to the bone, but you know what I mean? You in, inside the, no, like, that's not how you measure dick. The guy, no, every, every guy does that though, um, because it's obviously going to make it bigger. It's going to make it seem bigger. They're, of course, well, there's it. liars. That's but every, every guy lies about his dick size. Even if, even if you're close, still in the ballpark. If you're like 6.2, you're going to say 6.5 because it's easier. 
You're right up to every fifth of an inch. You can ask me for rounding up numbers, no, but I don't do it with a wiener. Look, every guy goes to every half an inch. Nobody, yeah, you're if you think it's 5.1, you're like, yeah, it's like 5.5 pretty much. So do you guys you're still up. jelk today? No. Uh, I, I, like I, I said, jelking is a thing you is do. Is that phase over? Jelking yeah. is a thing every guy gets for like two days and you're like... When you're 14, you do it. Yeah. And this involves a gel? No, 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 it's, I don't know why so it's just called jelking. Some guy you literally up, take lotion and just do this to your uh, dick. I was doing that when I was a teenager John before Jack. I looked up what it was. I was already just doing it because I thought it would work. <laughs> no, it, it doesn't. No. But then what about the whole, like, because I guess, I guess, There's like, no a pump Have you seen dick stretchers? Same idea? What? Have you I, seen dick stretchers? No. There are these fucking things you tie to your leg or like around your knee and you, your oh, dick gets pulled those. down to it like yeah. with an elastic rubber oh, band. Do that. Oh why, why don't you just tie it to like a door frame and just hang off it for like a few hours? <laughs> There's a video of that. Have you seen what? that? Yeah, no. guys, guys, Chinese guys like tie weights to their dicks and they're like, oh! <laughs> <laughs> like their face is and they're sweaty and shit. What? There's a video of a guy swinging around in this doorway by his dick. He's having the best time ever. What? Oh <laughs> my god. You guys, you guys watch the Are worst you videos. Serious? You don't watch enough videos. Yeah, yeah. you don't watch enough. I don't, I don't want watching enough Chinese guys. All you do is steal coffee. You you watched years. kittens get stomped to death, and you won't that watch the guy swing it by his dick. First of all, that was on accident. You watched okay? the whole thing by accident. Bullshit. It's on fucking MySpace, okay? On the message board. And you watched Nikki, all of it. What did you watch? <laughs> I don't want to talk about Nick it. Nick next came over, she was like, I saw the best video. A kitten getting stomped to death. I love every second. Are you serious? Cool. And her pussy got she wet and dripped on the floor. I might cry. That. If she's, somebody showed me a video of a baby <laughs> duck or something dying, I might cry. I've seen some I've awful all... shit on accident. Like, I don't, I don't seek out these videos. Sabrina, what's the worst video you've ever seen online that you actually like saw? That you were... Probably something one of you guys sent to me. You want to like somewhere like, like a picture too? Uh, just, holy shit. ISIS videos? Yeah, probably. I mean, I don't know. Did Chris send you a beheading video? I did not send beheading no, videos. No, but you guys sent me some pretty weird shit. You're like, a little shit Every star. time I get a link. You like, bad stuff, though, like, no, people No, 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 it's never, like, never sent anyone that kind of shit. I showed Shadman the fucking Bjorkstalker guy last night killing himself, and Shadman was getting kicked out of it. Because <laughs> he's never seen funny. that one. He put, on, he put on this big, fat gamer guy who does... I oh, my I, God. When Corey was laughing at that, I was crying laughing at Corey laughing. He, they, they, <laughs> they, basically, the context is Shadman and oh, yeah. Corey were putting this... They showed me this video of this big, obese guy, like, ooh. I hate the fucking game cube. Yeah, he's like, there's the Nintendo shit cube. And there's, and a, there's, like a, there's a noise. Like a broomstick there's a sound something. he makes in the intro where it goes, oh. Yeah. oh. How does he do that? Sounds like the fucking joke stock when he kills himself. For, for, for Ricardo Lopez. <laughs> and I showed the shed he got kicked out of it. And Corey was like laughing so fucking hard at that fact. That's right, why though? It's because it was a huge computer with massive speakers. Like, boom, boom. Oh, yeah, we, we, were at, we were in the Newgrounds offices and the Pico Day setup was already there. So there was like a huge projector with like massive speakers all around. <laughs> Corey blasted. And there's this big fat guy going, Oh, Nintendo shit cube! <laughs> <laughs> what else did you play now? Yeah, gave her. So Corey's been staying at Stampers over the past weekend because of Pico Day. Yeah. In the mornings, I've been hanging out with him and Shad playing Mario Party 3D World. Oh, I Corey those days. is so intense when he plays Dude, it. He, yeah. gets, he was stuck on the level and he was red faced screaming. <laughs> and of course, he was quoting like all these. Game reviewers, yeah. and Shad's making all like trivial questions. Oh, Shad's like... fucking Shad's fanning the flames all <laughs> yeah. the time. Corey, calm down. It's only a video game. <laughs> well, Shad loves to do that. You know, it was funny. There was, like he, he was playing. I woke up to him screaming one day. I was like, "What the fuck?" And I walked out. I was like, "Corey's dad must have died or something." And I walked upstairs. And he was playing Sonic Adventure Two. <laughs> that's like the funniest. Like that's 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 Corey. That story. Is he used Corey. to keep Chris up at night because he'd be screaming at Team Fortress Two. Oh my yeah. god. Well, what? What, the funniest thing Corey ever did was he let a piece of fruit rot in his room. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. And fucking. Oh and, god. And then it gave birth to all these maggots, right? Oof. No, this, this is the best story ever. So, Corey let this piece of fruit rot in his bedroom. Back at the old house. And then these maggots crawled out, like fucking millions, they were, right? They were all millions. Were there a bunch of flies They all poke evolved into moths, little oh, tiny moths. Oh, no. <laughs> every day, I heard Corey slapping the wall going, Oh! Sick of this! It's like, Corey, remove the fucking rotten fruit, you idiot! <laughs> yeah, you still keep the fruit in there. <laughs> the whole house was covered in maggots oh, and moths. No. There's one point where I walked into his room and there was a blue, blue bottle. I was like, Corey, this is literally like four months. He's like, oh, yeah. And he opened I the so I looked inside and there was like four inches of dead flies. There was a fly oh, on Holocaust. And I was like, cool. And he started laughing. And he just laughed. <laughs> <laughs> but every night he was slapping my wall was like, to kill flies on the wall. I was like, Corey! Also, Corey's bedroom had like glass shards to the ceiling because yeah. it was an art house, and they used to like sporadically just fall onto the ground, like almost impaling me. Be like, oh, be like, what? <laughs> that is fucking crazy. Just be like, oh, like right beside him. Didn't that like like jolt you out of a sleep at some point? Where yeah, you were just I like, thought oh, someone threw a brick through the room. Into? I thought yeah. someone. And I and woke Chris up. Chris ran away. He was like, whoa! I was like, what the fuck? I was like, I was like still like dreaming. So I was like, what? Because Chris was standing over me. He didn't turn my light. It was like a shadow of Chris going, hold on! <laughs> I was trying to process what the fuck was happening. I thought someone was breaking out. I was 
like, Zach, did someone break in? And he's like, what? what? For me, it's 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 not when I'm waking up. It's when I'm going to sleep. And yeah, like, no, you're no. kind of drifting off and it's really dark. Yeah, And then too. you start seeing like almost like shapes or whatever. Oh, I, I, I hate when you're about to fall asleep. And you, you get that back jolt. Up. Like, yeah. you, you're just like, do you ever do you ever dream of does does that does that ever coincide with like something you're thinking of? So it's like you fall down a stair, or like a door hits your face or something. Yeah. And you wake up. Oh yeah. yeah. Oh my god. Uh, I had one that scared the living shit out of me. It was like one of those like outer body experience. Like it's like sleep paralysis. Mm. And I was yeah. like outside my body, and I went outside my bedroom, and I was like, hmm, I can like experiment. And I checked my bookshelf, and I was like, I can see what order these books are in. So when I wake up, see if it was real or not. And it was in that order. I was like, Aah! when I woke up, then I was like, I must have been like sleepwalking or some shit. Have you ever yeah. felt? Falling out of the bed while you're sleeping, like you just fucking turn. Yeah, the oh yeah, the I'm such a klutz. I'm like the worst. When I was in Spain, I did that. I smashed my head off the floor. It was I'm always like really concrete. That explains a lot. I'm yeah. always really paranoid when I'm on a bunk bed that I'm gonna fall off the top yeah, bunk. Yeah. I'm always super paranoid. Yeah, but then when I'm on the bottom bunk, I always think the guy's gonna collapse and crush yeah. me. Yeah. You know, do you remember when we lived at the old house? I had that bunk bed that was too close I to the ceiling. That. Chris was the <laughs> idiot. Bought a bunk bed without measuring it. Yeah. The fucking top so, bunk was literally you had to crawl. You had to like squeeze into it. So I woke up. I woke up to take a piss. I was like. Bam, like yeah, yeah. Oh, God, I was about fuck. to say that. Uh, one time I woke up from a nightmare up there, smashed my head off the roof. <laughs> That's good. You wake up to your like heavy scare you, you smash your face immediately. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. You could like stand underneath that bed, like yeah. But the top, the top bunk was like you felt like a, you felt like you were in a coffin or something. Yeah, yeah. Awful. Yeah, yeah it was, it was so that bed was yeah. the best for recording only plays though. We used to like we used to just like there was like a mattress and we used to like lie in there with a mic dangling from yeah, it. Yeah, it was cool. It was, it was, yeah. cool. It was, it was cool. a good little thing. Yeah, it was a good little setup. <laughs> Yeah, I miss that house, like, especially living with Shad and Corey. Mm -hmm. Like, just, that, like, Shad would just walk in, like, every now and then, just be like, hey, what are you guys doing? And we'd be like, huh, and then just have, like, a long conversation. He, you know, it's weird, a lot of people would give him credit for it, but he's a great guy to have conversations yeah, with. He's just, yeah, you'll, you'll see some of that when we yeah. use that. He's a great guy in general. general. He's a good conversationalist. You can talk to him, bro. I mean, every, every night at Stampers, we always end up in the kitchen, and Shad always yeah. joins us. Oh, yeah, that's yeah. Right. Talk he talks for, like, hours. That. We have, like, we, great yeah. conversations. those kitchen talks, that, that, that they yeah. were, like, iconic. Like, like, mm -hmm. like I'd, like, I'd wake up at, like, three in the morning for water and try to be in the kitchen and then like I go back to bed at like seven in the morning after just talking for like five yeah, hours. Just yeah. talk, like, like, holy shit. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, he's always down there making his tea or whatever. You're always yeah. talking kitchen about corner something. Really, it could be fucking it could be the other game or one night, it could be fucking like time travel the next night. It's what's always fun about yeah. it. He has such interesting perspectives on things. Yeah. Like he's not like a normal like He's, he's not nuts. normal. He has, he's, he, he, no, he, of course not. The best way, way, the best way to describe him is Shad is against nature. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. No, like, like Shad would thrive in a like post-apocalyptic po setting. Po po it always reminds me of the in a Pokeball. Po it always reminds me of the uncle that fucks with you. Oh yeah, yeah. He's, yeah he's like, how you doing, eh? Except, yeah, your uncle wouldn't put actual knives to your throat when you walk up the stairs <laughs> like Shad would. But yeah, uh, you probably had it coming, Nile. Yeah, he, he did it to you, and you started crying. Remember? <laughs> oh yeah, I screamed. Like, wet your pants. I don't want to die. That's what you said. <laughs> Just piss off your legs. That was blood because he cut my dick off by accident. Gross. <laughs> so, mm -hmm. Nikki, is this your first time in Philadelphia? Yes, it is. And what do you think? What's, what's the difference? What's a the lot difference? of black guys jaywalking? Let me tell you Does that. Does that make you horny? Yeah. I saw a video of a guy in Seattle, a black guy jaywalking, and got shot by police. Was Good. that? Are you sure that's I Seattle? I swear to God, that was Seattle. I swear Seattle. to God, I remember that was Seattle. Well, You're from Seattle. Talk about that. The walkers Seattle are fucking sucks. scum. It's beautiful, but I hate the people there. The hipsters. Very pretentious. So many business. Is it like people. art school just in like a state? Isn't the California kind of blood up a little bit? A little bit. Yeah. Like the further up you go, like Portland, and then Seattle, it's like more hipstery. Seattle has. Amazon, Microsoft, it's got Adobe, it's got Google, it's got all these businesses that keep inviting people to move in from like oh, India. Oh, Silicon Valley, those those little skinny guys with mustaches and... and no, glasses. no, like they're, they're they're flying in people from like India and everything. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of Indian people Gross. there. There's a lot I, of I heard Seattle's ethnics. kind of the new, uh, the new like growing area, the new booming area. That's the new kind of place to go. It is, I mean, we I got, always we got go there. weed legal, we got, you do. We got oh, yeah. coffee. It's Whoa. still very pretentious. Talk, talk, talk about the, the weed day legal. <laughs> Seattle's a bunch of people that are hard to talk to. There's a thing called Seattle Freeze where like people just, they aren't friendly. They won't make eye contact. It's hard to have a conversation. I think I know why that is because they're all kind of thinking, like if they're that kind of person that you're talking about, they're all like thinking about themselves all the time. So like, yeah. They're they're, to you're just yeah, concentrating yeah. on what you're doing. You're kind of worried about like if people are looking at you or not. And you're just mm. like. That just sounds like you're very so socially awkward. A lot of people are in Seattle. Oh, really? I feel very out of place. Like, here, I feel like I'm at... 
You're at home. I'm, I'm at home. There like, you go. I can talk to people on the street. Yeah. I go out with Mick to like a grocery store and he's Everyone having a regular conversation. That's, 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 yeah, yeah. yeah. Really I lived in New Jersey as well. And compared to there, like, mm-hmm. the Philly is just like where it's at. I find that too. New Jersey. Yeah. 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 I don't want to hate on Seattle so much because it is like a booming place. It, like, I've met a lot of good people there mm-hmm. and everything. And it's beautiful in the summer and spring with the mountains and blue the Puget sky. Puget Sound, is that the. Yeah, the Puget Sound area. I mean, it. It's it, it doesn't rain all the time. If anything, it's just cloudy. It's like, it's like Irish weather, I think. Isn't that like it, it is. It like, is yeah. kind of so foggy, kind of cloudy, shit. gray. Mm. What's it's the friendliest person. place you guys ever were? Ooh. Mm. Probably, I mean, the more touristy places in Canada are super friendly. That's good. Uh, Jasper and Banff. They're two separate places, but Banff? they're really, Banff, B A N F F. Oh. Banff, like not like badass motherfucker. Badass motherfucker. <laughs> it's close to it though, but it's really touristy. So there's a bunch. But so of sorry, they just do that for show because everyone thinks Canada is like a really friendly Maybe. place. And then the further out you go, the that, more that, that, but it really is. It really is a cool place. place. Well, North Korea keeps it up. <laughs> oh. really, no one's well, really that friendly there. Uh, <laughs> no, this well, isn't anything uh, like North Dennis Korea. Let's compare fucking North Korea to Banff, Canada. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, Dennis Rodman <laughs> fell for it. If he fell for it, everyone. Yeah. He's Dennis Rodman. That's true. No, it's nice though. There's just tons of wildlife. Like it's a place where like elk and bighorn sheep and whatnot like just cool. walk across. The I street. love bighorn sheep. Yeah, and like you can see mm-hmm. bears too if you're lucky. You, um, uh, you like bighorns, don't you? Like, it's just cool. <laughs> nice dude. What about you guys? Uh, Iowa. Iowa. Yeah, it, the, mid, the, Why? the Midwest. Why? Every, so what? Every, everybody in the Midwest. You can ask if Stanford is here to tell you this because he has family in the Midwest too. Everyone there is super friendly. Yeah. Uh-huh. Like here, but on like on crack. It's ridiculous. Hmm. I, I have to say Philadelphia so far. I've been to Burbank, yeah. California. I've been to L.A. That's San your problem. Francisco. You've, been, you've been to California. That's why no one's fucking friendly. Phillies? Yeah. Phillies like Ireland in the sense where people are really, really friendly when you start talking to them, but no one goes out of their way to talk to you. That, I, I, the Midwest people be like, hey, people yeah, like people get come to, up to you. It's yeah, weird. Yeah, yeah, yeah. People hmm. come up to you get to try to get to know you. Huh. Because it's like, here there's a lot of people. It's a little intimidating when you think about it. No, really no, it's, it's not. It's, it's lovely. Really, it's really, I love that shit. It's, you never feel like, oh, get the fuck away from me, you weirdo. Yeah. It's always like, hey, how you doing? I never had a friendliest place that I've been to. I think everyone's kind of similar everywhere. Go to yeah. Iowa. Yeah, I don't, yeah. No, they're not pricks. I just. They're <laughs> not pricks. Yeah. Well, how about how about like the opposite then the the meanest California. The mean, I haven't been to California. The meanest place I've been to. Um, they, they're not even dicks. They're just not. They're not people. The meanest they're, place they're I ever robots. was was fucking Rome. <laughs> Really? <laughs> yeah, you said Europe was a shithole. I didn't say Europe was a shithole. Like, you said France is a shithole, Italy was a shithole. No, I said the places I went were shitholes. So oh, I guess it was the tourist I went to Paris. You know probably it was is? not nice. What? You know probably was? I liked Paris. Really? I think it's because I think it's because the people who live there are like, ugh, fucking God, he's done. Yeah, no, I don't blame them. Hours, you, know? you can't blame that. But I feel it, like if you go to a touristy place like that where the tracks are all They're also full of, like, fucking thieves and the, it's, like, oh, smoggy. Paris, yeah, you don't get pickpocketed. We also went to, we were, I think it was New York. If you go to Times Square, there's a lot of people. Like, yeah, that was there, there was a black dude who was like, hey man, check out my album. I was like, oh, he gave me his album. I was like, sweet man. He's like, yeah, can you give me some donations? I was like, no, and he grabbed it back. <laughs> he was trying to trick me to buy it. Dude, what an I, No, he, he, he didn't even grab dude. it back. He was like, give me money. It's like, no. He's like, give me money. And he was trying to like make you keep it, but give him no, money. No, no, he gave it. No, he pulled it back from me. Did he? He, he, he didn't do that with me. me. Dude, Jeez. I was like, I went to the Rocky Steps where they're like Rocky and over. I was there recently. Yeah. yeah, and I went there with a friend and like this guy came up to us like, oh, you're a lovely couple. We weren't even a couple, so that was awkward. And he's like, here, I'll take a picture of you with the Rocky. Rocky statue, and then we went to the Rocky statue, and he took a picture, and I was like, uh, "What? I didn't. I don't, I don't even care." And she was from Philly, so yeah. she just she was like, "Yeah, I like live here for whatever." And then like he was like, "Here, uh, not now. Come on, give me a tip. Come on, I'm homeless. Give me a tip." Like he just expected. He wasn't even giving me eye contact. He was like, "Here, yeah, tip now. Give me money." I was like, "I, I didn't even want this picture." You dick. Jeez. <laughs> I, 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 you, get, you, get, you get those fucking vultures around touristy spots. And yeah. Like, yeah. Oh, I'm in Philadelphia. There's the Rocky steps. Yeah. You know. Yeah, I know. Yeah. Like, and then, like everyone that was jogging up those rocky steps, I was like, you motherfucker. It's like the, it's just like the people. The, the, you ever see those pictures of yeah. like a hundred people next to the the Eiffel Tower? They're all, but they're not like. Oh, oh the leaning tower of Pisa. Yeah. 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 So the Eiffel Tower. I, I love that. But there's also one with the Mona Lisa. Uh, there's a oh, picture yeah, it's, where it's just yeah, yeah. like it's a tiny little picture like the, Mon- the actual Mona Lisa and there's just yeah, like a ton of tourists like with their phones yeah, and yeah, like yeah. you stand back and then there's a, an amazing brilliant masterpiece behind the Mona Lisa that's much better paint like than the Mona Lisa and no one looks at it oh. the Mona Lisa's good yeah. but it's it's, it's alright the Mona Lisa what's so great about it I, this is a serious question you guys are artists what's so great about the Mona Lisa look at I don't know look at everything on us 
uh, Mona Lisa. Everyone's amazed uh, by the weirdness of her smile story, in the picture. Mona it's also because he fucked up her smile. So like, it's also like, the fact that from the Eno cave, dude, look at everything else with that. No, it was, it was great. like it was like creepy no, people Renee, like screaming no. and dying. Renee's heart was there. amazing, dude. I'm saying, I'm saying a lot of art from that time. That, that's why it's impressive, though. It's like, it's hundreds of years old. Yeah. It's hundreds of years old. Yeah, what I'm now saying is there's other pictures that are better. Way better. From the from, same time. From yeah. Same, dude, I'm sure there are, but it's still, I mean, it's also but done by a famous artist, too. He did a lot of other stuff. Yeah, but like... It's the guy behind you. If that was a one-off, it wouldn't be what famous. What always impresses me is the, are the fucking statues. Yeah. 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 Made yeah. Out of yeah. marble. Yeah, and it looks and like cloth. It's so perfect. I've always, yeah. I've always thought about, like, man, could you imagine doing that? It had to have happened. Just doing yeah. one of those and fucking up. Like, little subtle like, things. Yeah, just having the oh, finger fucking knock dude, off. Dude, Michelangelo's David has like a hand bigger than the other, but no one notices. Yeah. And his wiener's tiny. <laughs> you you give you notice that, huh, Niall? You. What? You notice his wiener? Of course, it looks well, like it's kind of prominent. You lick your lips too. Mm. No, but mm. I, I don't know. I think I, dude, I like, we're talking in, about in, Irish, in, so. in the guys in the guys' defense, you know, if you were gonna show your your, your penis, you you would you would you would inflate it a little bit, right? Yeah. That guy just stands still for like seven hours. So fuck you. That's true. <laughs> that guy that guy had it was probably cool to you, asshole. Yeah, and he probably like did the <laughs> yeah. dick last. Yeah, like, he was like, oh, dude. Do you think Michael would have been like, oh, I'll give you a good dick? He cannot keep he cannot keep a chub up for like seven what hours. Yeah. Dude. What if David was being kind of a dick that day, so his wiener small? You, or what if he, what if he Dude, did what, he what you were that? saying about the finger? He chopped off half of it. He was like, fuck. Oh, man, like, I'm sorry. I'll just say it was cold. I don't know, I'll say it with the pool afterwards. Yeah, before. <laughs> there's real talk, though. There's like there's some statues out there that like you'll get like veins in the back of the hand. They'll capture oh that God. so perfectly. Yeah. You'll see like but it's the you, know, you know what I also realized? You know? amazing. What the fuck else were they doing? That's what yeah, they that's did. They just sat there and chiseled for because then, then you would do that and <laughs> that was, die. That was fun. What else could you do back then? Yeah, they, they didn't have fucking the DS. They didn't make apple pies. What's the, what's the best museum you guys have been to? Um, I, I went, went to, to the, a couple. Ooh, I went to the Getty Museum in California. I went to the, museum, I went to the Spaghetti York. Museum. You, you Spaghetti. went to the Spaghetti, the spaghetti museum Factory last night. York? Really? Yes. No. The Spaghetti Museum? <laughs> what's in the Spaghetti Museum? What do you think? I don't know. Spaghetti. <laughs> oh, serious? Severed heads. Severed heads. <laughs> Screaming severed heads. There's one that I went to by uh, this artist called Ron Muick, who does, um, he does, like, grotesquely realistic, huge things. Like, um, there's one that just, it's just a giant baby. It's the size of this room, basically. Mm. And it's, it's just hyper, oh, hyper the, realistic. Oh, yeah, that thing. It looks like a real giant baby and it's like all just you know like fresh out of the womb I guess and just I, you know, you're getting Zach Horny over there so. I, uh, I, I, yeah, you I crossed did, your legs I did anatomy in med school so like there was this guy touring around that uh he had cadavers and he put them in all different positions and stuff. Uh, and body like, work. Yeah, body, I, body went to that, I went to that when body he was world? touring, yeah. Can, can, I tell, was, can I tell a quick story related to that? That was disgusting. There, there were advertisements all over all over New York when we went there. I saw that, yeah. No, no, wait, wait. It's a Chris is really talking about. You know what I'm going to say? Wait, what? The Dunkin' Donuts? There, there, there was, oh, that, yeah. There was Dunkin' Donuts. We went to Dunkin' Donuts and there was like these disgusting, like, real human, like, corpse faces on them. <laughs> and the employee behind the couch pointed to it and he was like, this is without skin human. <laughs> I remember that. <laughs> it was the weirdest <laughs> fucking thing yeah. ever. We were like, it was just, you were staring what? at a prototypical Dunkin' Donuts worker. and, and we That's a quote but, to be yeah, able to I can try one, one turbo, and then he just points, and we looked at it, we're like, what is that? And he goes, that is without skin human. <laughs> <laughs> I wanted to, I wanted to frame that and say, like, Dunkin' Donuts guy. Yeah, just take a picture yeah. of him, and yeah. he's like, yeah, yeah. Make he's a black like and white photo. <laughs> Dunkin' Donuts guy on a skinless human. <laughs> thanks, thanks, guy. That is without skin human. I had no idea what that was before he pointed out Dunkin' Donuts. I wasn't forgot that, about that. Wasn't that in like every Dunkin' Donuts we went to? It was everywhere. It was, it was everywhere. It's all over New York. That is, a, that is so off-putting for a fucking food restaurant. Like, yeah. yeah. Like food and Why coffee. Why they put that like, it's, was, like, it's, like a, it's like a guy, it's like a guy like, like screaming to his yeah. mouth is open. Like I was going, muscle tissues I was everywhere. going to get like a fucking like chopped up meat fucking uh, burger. I was going to get a raw piece of chicken with like, you know, really straight. I couldn't do it. Yeah. 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 Oh, yeah. Did you oh. say you actually went to the exhibit though? Or like the... No. No, yeah, no, no but guys, that was a story really good. I did. Okay, go, go, go. I've always wanted to do it. Didn't you bring us to the Rudder Museum or whatever? Remember you? Oh yeah, the Mutter Museum. What was it called again? The, the Mutter? 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 Yeah, that Mutter? Was, yeah. Where's it located? It, in Philly. Uh, it was downtown in Philly. Yeah, it was like all the. It's like, it's, it's like Ripley's, believe it or not, with all the oddities and weird. It's like people deformed, with fucking bullet holes like in their it, brain. Oh, the deformed. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Very <laughs> how, how, Was it like a big museum? Or? Nah, it's, it's like a ten-minute thing. It's smallish, but it's still really cool. Like every single piece is like some weird historic, uh, like almost like obscene. Like for one, one, do you remember the colon? 
No. That was like a, the size oh, of a huge. sleeping bag? Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. Whoa. Sorry. It, was a, it was a human colon that they had preserved it was somehow. like a fucking giant skeleton. It looked skeleton. like there were kids stuffed in it or something. Actually, it was just like... <laughs> that is weird because I went like thrifting the other day in, in the Philly city. I was going through thrift colon? stores. They're all normal. I was like, yeah, there's bullshit junk I want. And then I went into one of them and it was just normal. And then in the back room they had like... like Jars with heads like Futurama in them and shit, and like fucking fetuses that are attached to each other. Cool. What? I'm like, yeah, and like little pig heads and stuff. I was like, there was a kid in the Mutter Museum who is like a corpse of a kid <laughs> whose muscles turned to stone. Oh, what? I heard about this disease. It's like when you when you what? get a bruise or something, right? Yeah. When you get a bruise, it turns it turns to rock. Did you, you hear about that? Did you hear about that kid? That rock did you hear about that kid uh, who died in the 1920s? I think she was five, and her dad was so devastated he wanted her to be preserved forever, so she's still preserved, but her eyes still open. Yes, I've heard about this. Isn't that yeah. isn't it like South America? I don't know, but at, at one point at every day, her eyes open and then close again. Yeah, I've heard about it. It's, it's creepy. Far. It's probably something like taking a stick and fucking yeah. eating them. <laughs> no, no, I think it's like something to do with like her muscles are still like, attached. Like, like, there's like, no way. Her muscles are still attached. I've heard a lot of, I've heard a lot of different fingers. stories about like corpses being like super preserved or something. Would you, have, would you guys ever get frozen cryogenically? You would, Zach. Zach no. Me and Zach talked about this. Uh, this Burn me up from my way. Cryonics, right? people, people actually get frozen. This is a real thing. People, but the way they do it is like, basically you sign up for this thing when you die of like cancer. There's a couple of problems. The biggest problem is first, if you're in a different state, like there's only a couple of facilities in the US. So if I died here in Pennsylvania, they'd have to come out I'd be dead for like a day or two before they can actually do it. Yeah. What they do is like, if you live in the area, say say you live ne- right next to the place. I watched a documentary. This lady died. They pulled her over immediately, iced her body down, started pumping her uh, chest again to keep her blood flowing. Mm-hmm. Started giving her chemicals so she could. So she preserved. doesn't get rigor mortis. So she does. So she doesn't actually start rotting. So her yeah. brain, st- her brain doesn't die basically. Yeah. It, it's so, it, but it's dead, but it's not dying. Yeah. And then they, then they do that, put her in ice, get her body really low, take her blood out, then put some kind of basically uh, antifreeze into her bloodstream. Yeah, so because that, that, biggest, that's going to help. That's a, yeah. No, because the biggest <laughs> issue is if you get frozen like a, like a lake or whatever, yeah. the biggest issue, you can sweat for a little bit. Not frozen, but like if you fall in cold water. But the biggest issue is if you get frozen, ice crystals form before you, in between your cells and they expand. Oh. So even if you froze and woke up, you'd be fucking like mush, you'd be liquid. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Like, but I'm saying the biggest issue is... They die and they freeze you, and the freezing process keeps you completely alive. Like it, it's all it keeps you preserved completely. Yeah. You're a tech, but the issue is when they wake you up, you're fucking dead. You still and have a brain tumor. You're still or no, you even if they can cure that in the future, you're still dead. Mm-hmm. The only way I get frozen is if, if they if they could do it when I'm alive. Mm-hmm. If I was like slow my process down, and it still wouldn't. You now nah, your your tissue would be fucked. No, up. it wouldn't. It'd be it'd be no, the, uh, that tissue's not an issue. The if issue it's is frozen, that your, your, your tissue will dead. be no, your tissue to, will be fucked up. It they will be they, they can pres- they, I, that's not even a big issue. The way they do it, that, that's they, a huge issue. Some, here's an example: some kind of like frogs. They, they yeah. can get frozen for like a year at a time, mm-hmm. but they have like a basic, like a natural antifreeze in their body. Mm-hmm. They get frozen in ice for like a year, really? but their insides yeah. are still going. It's like a so seasonal. if you can find a way to do that, like keep your, br- like the insides are going, it, but slow down on I think that'd like, be the like way to do it. Like hibernating? Well, exactly, yeah. but yeah, What's so basically sleeping rather than yeah. fucking dead and then put in ice. God. Once I saw on the internet that you can get a fly and put it in the freezer for like a few days and then yeah. take it back out and just, if you touch it, it like starts like unfreezing. When I was a kid, I put uh, a cicada into the freezer for like a, four hours <laughs> and I took it out and I was like, oh God, I killed it. It was like, it's a fly run, so it Wait, like, freaked me out. Did you ever hear about those people who put flies on strings and put them in freezers to freeze them? That's what we're saying. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, the, 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 the was, strings yeah. though? What's the strings? Uh, yeah, no, yeah, but they do that. Yeah, that's so. They, yeah, they, they'll catch a fly, put it in the freezer, freeze it, and then put a little string on it. And when he unthaws, you like you have a pet fly on a leash. <laughs> that's so cruel. <laughs> it's funny. It's like, Fuck flies. Like one day though, I when hate I was, flies. When I was little, I found a fly. I was playing outside, and there was a little fly that only had one wing, so Good. it was just crawling around. Aww. And I, so I, I kept it. Aww. I put Fuck it in a little flies. jar with like dirt and grass, and it was alive for like a few days. And it died. I was Good. So sad. I cried. Fucking. Why you would you cry over a fly? Yeah, his name was Buzzy the Buzzer. Did you guys Was do that? All? Did you like capture animals and put them like in jars and stuff? Yeah, I used boxes? to collect like worms. I used to do that. Oh, you were that time. kid. That yeah. weird, I was too, kid. dude. I used to yeah. get like frog. I put the frog. I fell in love with that. I had a gecko. Did I tell you to find them though? Yeah. Yeah. yeah did I tell the slug operator story? Slug I think so. Operator? What the? Yeah. Oh. Yeah. He'd find a slug and then he, his eyes would lock onto the slug and he'd go. 
Danger, danger, slug <laughs> operator. And he'd walk over to the slug and he'd like slit it open. What the fuck? Oh my god. Yeah, he just slid it down the middle and then like all these little baby slugs came out of it once. Uh, he sounds weird. Sounds yeah, he was you, wasn't he? Do you guys kill flies when you see them or no? Um, oh, me and Chris had a fly problem in Wexford when we lived in Ireland and. Uh, that was disgusting. We, it was bad. It was bad. It was disgusting. Tell, tell the story when you came home. Oh, yeah, days. so me and Chris went to my house in Galway. Uh, that's like the other side of the country. And um, Chris went home a day before I did, and then, the, and then when I came home on the bus, I walked into the house, and Chris was on his computer, just like surrounded by, like absolutely like <laughs> fucking he was, like, he was like, Chris's hey, eyes he was like, hey, was, like, ah! was that because of the watermelon or no? No, the watermelon. You tell that story, Chris. Do we never? Wait, wait. But why was there so many flies, though? Um, because you're stinky. Cause our, no, that's not why. Because our ex roommate left a shit ton of. Uh, that was it. Yeah. Okay. He left a shit ton of bags in a closet. Yeah, like, I went to America. Now I was still my ex roommate. My ex roommate was supposed to take out the trash bowl was gone, and when when I got back, he left. So he left fucking fifty trash yeah, bags. Yeah, like, like yeah, they were just in a closet. That, yeah. Like, tucked away. It's it disgusting. wasn't my fault. But what what was my fault was the watermelon. So. I had a little tiny fridge in my apartment. I yeah. put a watermelon in it, and I ate a slice. And then I forgot about it. And then two weeks later, I opened the fridge, and there was a fucking forest growing inside my fridge, and oh flies God. flew out. Dude, literally, he literally threw his oh. fridge away. I mean, we, we, you guys we, have some of the most disgusting, like, look, with the yeah, I didn't think that would happen. Flies, maggots, this is what shit. happened. This is what happened. We fucking got the fridge. We're like, this is a lost cause. So we drove it to the dump. The dump wouldn't take it. So we just, we literally dumped it in a quarry somewhere, and we oh sealed my it. God. <laughs> sealed it. Some little boy found that ate the watermelon. <laughs> <laughs> he opened it, he turned it to fly oh boys. <laughs> some say he still flies around with this. <laughs> so, uh, something I want to talk about a little bit earlier. We talked about what, what, um, she, apples. She finished her oh, wait, wait, yeah. tangent. Oh, that that was it. It was just I remember chocolate crocodiles. That's all. Can, you guys remember candy cigarettes? Turn out to me, Sabrina. Did you guys ever have candy cigarettes where they're called candy yeah. cigarettes? Yeah. yeah. But I, I used to be like. Yeah, the big deal. Yeah. Used to blow the dust. Man, used to cool. I, I can one up you there because when I was younger, uh, I was like a little bit older than the kids in my estate, and I tried to be cool. And I remember seeing like cigarette butts on the ground. And I was like, check these out, guys. Pick it up and try to light it. But I didn't know what I was doing. I was like, like lighting it before it was in my mouth. I was like, Ugh. I did that too. But <laughs> my, my friend Jason and I, we used to go to my dad because my dad smoked cigarettes. We used to go to my dad's fireplace and like pull disgusting cigarette butts out of the fireplace and smoke them for like forty seconds. No, gross. My friend Jason, I don't know if I ever told the story. Did you ever tell the story? No. My first cigarette I ever had, I was like 14 years old. My friend Jason came over and he's like, dude, let's go smoke a cigarette. I was like, alright. We went to the woods and he had one, there was just one cigarette. He, I don't know where it got from. And he pulled it, we were like coffee. I don't know why I did it. We, we were coffee, like wheezy and shit. And then we came back to my house and immediately my mom was like, why do you smoke cigarettes? It was like a fucking TV they know. show. And I was like, oh. I got a blue cigarette smoke with it all the way back. She didn't she fucking believe me. Did your heart like sink? Yeah, it was like, oh, yeah. <laughs> How I think old I did, I did say, like, I didn't smoke a cigarette. Uh, I panicked. I was like, I didn't smoke a cigarette. How old were you? The, I was like 14, probably. Yeah, yeah, it was the same for me yeah. when I got cut. I was an idiot. <laughs> What, what's your cigarette story? For me, it was even stupider. We just <laughs> found a pack of cigarettes sitting on a couch in a future shop. And we're like, ha, 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 ha. smoke these. And we went, it was my friend uh, Melissa and I. It, like, it, I mean, anyway, we. I went back to my house. She took half the pack. I took the other half. And, and I was like, I'm going to try smoking. There wasn't even anybody around, so I don't know who I was trying to impress. I was just like, I'm going to try smoking. <laughs> so I... Idiot me! I, like here, my room is in the basement, and then there's a little vent that just goes like right Fuels to the in the middle. House. Basically, yeah. So the one oh, place God, that my Sabrina. dad sits all day long, every day, is just happens to be right above this vent that's also attached to my room. And it took him like 0.5 seconds after I lighted I lit, after I lit this cigarette. And you know, I have this teeny tiny little football sized be like basement window that I'm I cracked, head. cracked open. And uh, <laughs> like Caesar the monkey. <laughs> yeah, that she was gonna say I have a teeny tiny little football head. <laughs> What? <laughs> I had a little football head like Arnold. <laughs> but, no, no. So, <laughs> so I go. Uh, yeah, no. So, so I light the cigarette and I'm, I'm trying to smoke it out the window, all sneaky, because I'm thinking all the the smoke is going out the window. But it's it's going up the vent, which is directly above my head. Mm. And as soon as I light that cigarette, my dad, I just hear thump 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 thump, thump and like my door's locked and everything, right? Mm. So I can hear him trying to open it. And, like I put out the cigarette, throw it out the window, and all the rest of them too. <laughs> and uh, he like open. He's like open the door and like you know. I like I open it after a couple seconds of scrabbling and throwing away the cigarettes and and like did he know? He knew straight away. Right away, away. yeah. Did he get grounded? 
No, there was like this big intervention conversation. Oh, that, Jesus. Um, my mom sat me down, my dad oh. was talking to me, and they were oh. like, listen. Awkward. We, were you crying? No, no, no. They, they were crying? like, you know what? We we respect your decision. If you, you know, just be honest with us. If you if this is something you want to do. It was like I was coming out to them or something. And they <laughs> were like, just no, talking to me. I just found me. this packet and I thought it was cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And they were like, where did you get this from? Who gave this to you? And I, I, I lied about it because I didn't want the... You know. to throw it <laughs> when I was younger my friend Jordan and I we went down to Pike Place Pike Place Market in Seattle mm-hmm. we there's a magic shop there and we were looking at these packets of like love potions or whatever <laughs> and at some point I think I accidentally grabbed one and put it in my purse or Accident- something accidentally huh? accidentally I promise you you wanted to woo all those boys that love potion mm-hmm. throw it on them I just I wanted all the men <laughs> when I was 12 love me God, you bitch they ran away that was the bit. so we left the magic shop on the bus ride home I, I noticed it's in my purse I'm like oh fuck and I was like should we go back and return it it was only like 50 cents I mean it was like a little powder mixture it was just probably Kool-Aid or something oh my god Honestly, I have was. a story about this and so we went back to my house and as soon as I got into the door my dad was standing there and he was like I know what you did and I was like what the fuck well I didn't say that but you were I was thinking. so scared my heart sank I was so scared but he was talking about something else I, I didn't hate clean the happens. bathroom before I left to the Pike Place Market yeah. but I swear I thought he was talking about that love potion That's what happened like, with the love potion did it work we, <laughs> oh go on <laughs> my friend Jordan and I we split it in a cup it was like mix it with hot water what if we just fell in love with each other they did away. they're married congratulations we are it's all, it's all based on lies no, it, we, we, it just tasted like, I don't know, like Kool-Aid. Wait, basically. you drank it? Yeah, we it's drank it. We're like... like oh, uh, yeah, because I have a story about a spray. We thought it was all in, like, in our heads. Like, we felt like, you know, it's all psychological. Like, we're like, oh, do you feel nice and tingly? It's like, oh, yeah, I that, That's I like when too. you're a kid, you, so you have, like, non-alcoholic alcohol. You're like, I'm so drunk. It's like that weird placebo <laughs> thing. And yeah. it's, it's like, there's no alcohol retard. You're like, yeah, I was just fooling. <laughs> I was goofing anyways. I, uh, yeah, well, I, I was in this pub called Lonergan's in Galway when I was a kid. And uh, I, I was with my dad. And uh, I went into the bathroom. And they had, like, you know those machines where you get condoms and shit? Yeah. They had one where it was, like, it was, like, uh, not a love potion, but it was like pheromones or some shit. It was like something weird. It was like making girls like you. And and I was like, like a cologne. Thing? Yeah, and I was like this little fat kid, and I was, and I had a crush on a girl in school. So I was like, oh, man, no. you're like, yeah, I could use that. I was like, oh, dude, this is gonna no. work. No, like, no, don't. I, I was like, I'm getting laid, son. My little thirteen. So look at this You had a thing next to a thing of condoms, and you were like, yeah. But I didn't have money at the time. <laughs> so I'm going for the love. So I didn't have money at the time. So the next day, I like, even though it wasn't that far from my house, I like packed my bag. I was like, Dad. I'm going. I'm going to my friend's house, and I was like, I, "This was this huge, big, like scheme." I was like, "Haha!" And I like all, went all the way to Lonigan's, and I put in my like two euro coin or whatever, got it, and uh, went to school the next day because I was on a Sunday, and I was on school. I sprayed it. And I was like, mm, yeah, "Kind of weird, but whatever." So I put on like Axe to like. So fucking, you you canceled it out anyways. Yeah, I know. I was stupid, but the Axe ad had all women coming after you anyway. So I was like, dude, like I am actually literally going to be a pussy. Oh, you thought you just added to it? You thought it was an addition? I, I thought I was. I thought you I thought was. Gonna be swimming I thought there were, in I, pussy. Like I thought like the, like if I, there was an airplane going by, like women would just fall out of it and just like attach <laughs> me. Their titties right into your face. Yeah, there's like ah, right like everywhere it. I go. But um, yeah. Then I, I I like sat beside this girl in maths class, the same girl, and I was like. <sighs> Like put my neck up kind of near. I was like, ah, oh, yeah. And she's like, you smell weird. <laughs> oh. uh. Well, there, there goes that. Dreams are fucking crushed. <laughs> Did you really take that ad seriously? Uh, yeah. Like, literally? No, no, no. You're you a little too old for that. <laughs> yeah, thirteen. You would think. Yeah. The last time I took an ad literally was when I was like six. No, I didn't. Take, I, I, didn't I didn't actually take the Lynx ad or the Axe ad. It's called Lynx in Ireland. Seriously. Oh. <laughs> but. So you were very disappointed. I was very disappointed. Yeah, I'm she so ended up sorry. being a huge colossal. I like, I like how your brain, your first thought when you saw it was that like, wow, the cure to making people fuck you. It's only two, two dollars. Yeah, I was like, why, 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 yeah, doing why do people know this? Like, uh, yeah. Um, needless to say, it didn't work. How old were you? Thirteen. Yeah, it's a bad time to fall in love or try to look for love. Mm-hmm. No, it's like the I was, awkward I was trying stage to get, in life. I was trying to get laid, dude. I'm trying to get some pussy. I'm trying to get 13? some like, little, be- little gash. Things are horrible until like, you die. Mm-hmm. Things never no, good. things are literally horrible until like you're in your twenties, and then they're we're all gonna less, die alone. Less, less yeah, especially you. <laughs> you. Guys are so positive. I don't agree with that. <laughs> what? I think it's, it, it, there's like a fucking what, what do you call those scales? Scales. Uh, yeah, you know those things. Scales? That do that. Graph. 
Whatever. Anyway, when you're in school, oh, life is bad, but also shit. Because you're in school, which is bad, but life is good because you're getting everything handed to you by your parents. But then you get out, but then you have to fend for yourself, and it's still just as shitty. No, it's not as shitty. I, it's not as shitty. Sometimes independence for me is way more worth it than having to live with parents. I do. I, I, That's I, I, true. Being an adult is way better, dude. Yeah. Oh, I can eat ice cream for breakfast. However, but, you, know, you, you guys, you guys, you guys you never guys, just think back and be like, oh, do you remember the lack of responsibility? No, dude. No, the no, lack of me. Absolutely not. Totally. I wake, totally. Up, I wake up whenever I want to. I get to fucking. Do we draw? As a living. No, yeah. well, also, the, the, the only reason for that was because you were in school, which was shitty. When I worked in um, a supermarket, I legitimately wanted to kill myself. <laughs> so <laughs> it's all about perspective. Yeah, when I went to fast food too, I was like, man, yeah, that's what I'm saying. It's, like, the, a lot of people are like that. Yeah. Jeez. I worked at a bakery and coffee shop in downtown Seattle oh, cool. for about two years. Um, I had to wake up like at four o'clock in the morning because oh, my, my shift was from five to one o'clock in the afternoon. Ugh. So my dad had to like, that was before I had my license, so he'd have to drive me down there. Oh. I want to kill myself. Yeah. I'm just it's waking up so early. I had to go to bed at like eight o'clock at night. I was yeah. thinking of creative no ways to kill myself. <laughs> what do you have to be creative? Dude, you're going to be dead at the end of it. Because I was bored. <laughs> Oh. It's fucking easy yeah. to kill yourself, no. You yeah, just try hard enough. Creative ways. No, yeah, you, you did apply yourself, Niall. <laughs> yeah. That's why you wanted to kill yourself, because you were slacking on trying to kill yourself, all right? I was thinking, you know the, like, you know the, like, uh, the belt that, like, you put groceries on? Mm. I was like, if I, like, tie something to that, tie it around my neck, and just turn it on, and it's just, a little like, slow. slowly decapitate myself. It's a little slow. Stuff. Yeah, there's stuff I like that. The motor would chucked, be like, strong okay, enough. You probably, see, that's Maybe. too much time, because you're sort of regretting it as it slowly yeah, but then gets sucked through. Yeah, yeah. Um, when I was younger, I left a pan on the oven, and then there was nothing in it. I just left it. Oh. It was on the oven was on like high the, or the the burner. Yeah. And I the stove. That, like yeah, the stove top. And then I remember I came out of the bedroom. And I was home alone at the time. The whole house was just smoky, like black smoke, and it smelled awful. Oh god. I looked like I like grabbed it and I threw it in the sink. Oh, turn the sink on. Watch it fucking explode oh, in smoke. Yeah. I. I was so close to starting like a huge fire, and I was oh, only man. like nine years old. Did you ever leave the sink on and let it flood somehow? <laughs> no. When I was a kid, I had these elf, those little inflatable things that we put the pills in, and they inflate the stuff like a giraffe. Or, oh, yeah. I, I had an elf about one, and I was like six, <laughs> I put it in the sink and left it on for like four hours. I, I got yelled at. I have a, a story about flushing corn down the toilet. Oh, <laughs> uh, wait. Is this digestive You're going to have to tell that one. <laughs> so, Is it already through corn? your digestive system? Corn on the cob. Wow. Whoa, you got a full one that came out in the turd? <laughs> no, I was eating dinner. I was uh, about five years uh. old. And I, I was really self-conscious about finishing my food. Mm -hmm. I don't know why. Wait, wait, you'd be like, you didn't want to finish it all? You felt... I felt bad. Like, I always felt like I had to finish my food. My parents oh, you never... you felt obligated to finish yeah, it? Yeah, yeah. Okay. So... We had corn in the cob for dinner one night, and I couldn't finish it, and I was really nervous. I'm like four or five years old, so I grab the cob and I sneak away into the bathroom, and I try flushing it down the toilet. Where did you put, did you put the corn in the cob? Just sneak it away? Did you put it in your shirt? Or something? Yeah, like down my shirt. I oh hid it behind God. my back, walked away from the dinner table, and be like, "Oh, excuse me." So I went to the bathroom, tried flushing it down the toilet. Of course, I get stuck. Your parents oh. totally noticed you had a big fucking corn of the cup. Like, <laughs> and, 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 like, yeah, just, mega turds. They also noticed you're fucking. They didn't think you ate the whole piece either. They noticed it was gone, but in your mind, you're like, yeah, I'm fucking <laughs> sneaky. They saw it under your shirt. When I was two, my sister. Wait, 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 I'm not done. Wait. Oh. So my dad, um, he had to fucking take the toilet out of the bathroom. Oh, shit. And he had to fix it. He had to unclog it in front of the lawn, in it front of the house. Fine. And all our neighbors watched. And my dad was so mad at me. He still calls me Corn Flusher to this day. That's his, <laughs> that's his nickname for me. Like, he's we, mad at you? Yeah. When we were like, when we go out just in grocery shopping together, he's like, "Can you grab that Corn Flusher?" And it, oh, I, I will never live it down. Oh, yeah, that God. sounds really. So embarrassed. That sounds like a really mean name, just from the way it sounds. Just because also yeah, fucking so, Corn Flusher. By the way, it's because if somebody, if somebody else doesn't know that story, they just think you shit a lot of corn <laughs> yeah. or something. They yeah. get they have really girthy shits or something. Yeah, <laughs> or really corny shits. <laughs> when I was two, um, my sister was born. And she was like sitting in the whatever babies do. I don't know. My mom was like cleaning. I remember I, for some reason I remember she was like cleaning a bathroom, and I was like, "Hey, mom, I fed the baby." And, she, and my mom was like, "Oh, that's nice, dear." And then she was like, "What?" And then she went in, and I, apparently, like I like shoved like tons of Rice Krispies down her throat. <laughs> and like the baby, my, my sister was like sitting on the on the like floor with Rice Krispies on her cheeks, and she was like, oh, <laughs> 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 "My mom was like." Ah! 
<laughs> Can I just tell a funny kids. story that Natalie did when I was visiting him in Galway? I got one after you. Go Fucking, ahead. Fucking... <laughs> it was the funniest thing ever for the wrong reasons. But Nal's sister is like really, really nice and really polite and really quiet. Yeah. And when I, she was walking through the hall going, Mom! Mom! And then Niall ran up to her and started getting up in her face going, Nobody cares! Nobody cares! <laughs> oh yeah, no, I just do that sometimes. <laughs> she's such a dick. Yeah. She's really nice. <laughs> yeah, and uh, she's like, she? She's like old enough to like, not I be used to like, like that. I used to like get two pillows from the couch and just sing Jingle Bells and bash it on her head. <laughs> and she's like, Jingle Bells, Jingle Bells. She's like, ah! <laughs> she's so quiet. She's just shell shocked. She's, she's like the girl sibling. from Game of Thrones, the fucking the one oh, who's like Sansa. She's yeah, like, Sansa. Yeah, yeah. She's really <laughs> polite. Like her, yeah. Oh my god. Nobody <laughs> girl. <laughs> fucking mean now. I know. I'm sorry. When what I is was, your story? This is actually like a really, really dark uh, story. But when I was really little, maybe like maybe two, three, not old enough to do water rescue, <laughs> obviously. Um, I have I, my younger sister Mel is two years younger than me. And um, I guess my mom was bathing us in the in the tub one day, and she just like left Mel in her little like tub baby seat thing, and I was in there too, and you know my mom walks away and leaves us in the bathroom alone. Oh no! For well, like for a, very, for a very very short time, right? And so to grab something, I'm sure. Just really yeah, quick. yeah. And so so I guess what happened with um, with Melanie? She like her leg like slipped under the little like baby chair thing where it holds the two legs. So oh, they yeah. sit up kind of thing. So yeah. one leg got into where the other leg's supposed to be and she went right under. And it basically like, uh, the way that it went is like it, the the leg thing went over her stomach or whatever. So she was like underwater. And I'm like a, I'm like a baby too, right? So I don't know what's going on. She started turning blue and like, the, yeah, yeah. So it she put a baby in water. It was just long enough that like, you know, the, it was super serious. Like, like my mom runs back in and I'm like, after I start saying like mom like some something's wrong with Manny she's supposed to be like, blue and screaming no yeah and like and so mom comes back in and like they had to do like CPR and oh, like God. all this stuff and yeah like oh so your sister almost died yeah and, I mean I'm glad she didn't like frick. oh lordy so that happened uh, <laughs> I have one final story before we get to these Patreon questions oh yeah oh. it's related to the water it's not nobody drowned but when my brother was like two we went to the pool. It was like his first pool trip. Mm. He saw a big fat lady and he pointed and said, Fat! 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 And he got in trouble. He got yelled at. That's a true story. That's a great story, Zach. It's a real story. That's a 10 out of 10. Oh my god. You're the lady, Sneaky. That was you. Oh. <laughs> Fuck off! Now to the Patreon <laughs> questions. Chris, you want to read the first one? Uh. <clears throat> From Mobile Spider. Yes, that is right. Uh, do you guys have any warm up tips before you draw? Go, oh, Chris. Um, I draw a square. <laughs> Next? <laughs> Next one! <laughs> Um, <laughs> Wait, were you, is that it? Is it just one person answering each? No are we, are we all answer going that? around? Like, how are oh, we? Oh, I thought no, we're all going to answer We're all going to answer that. For real, I'm not, I'm not going to goof like Chris over here. Look, uh, okay, my warm up is square. I will draw. I don't fucking know. No, he doesn't. I'll, no, I'll draw for 30 minutes and that's my warm up. I don't know yeah. what I'm going to draw. I, I do warm up sketches. I just try I to. I do um, a lot of gestures. Oh, I don't want to fucking talk to you. I don't want to fucking talk to you. Nice. Sabrina, so these fucking two assholes, they don't know what they're talking about. They're just, they got their dicks in their hands, right? Ooh, the titty yeah. in your chest. Whoa. <laughs> Are you jealous of that? Oh. Oh. That was kind of oh. <laughs> Sorry, now. When I, when I do streams, hey, I... Hey, shut up. I haven't answered yet. <laughs> no one cares, Zach. I haven't answered yet. Okay, shut, shut, shut your fucking mouth. Like what he said, I do, uh, I do sketches. I would do seriously, do sketches for like 30 minutes to a whole hour if you want to. Mm. But a couple things you could do, uh, try to... Try to do something different every day, or if you want to, try to pick something like hands or like a head or something, or fucking ears. Mm -hmm. Break it down. A lot of people, I said it before, but a lot, of, a lot of people get fucking overwhelmed because they think you have to get good at anatomy and colors and lights. No. Pick a, an ear. If you want to get good at an ear, just spend like two days out of the ear or whatever. Just pick mm -hmm. something every day to get better at. Yeah, uh, I agree. Yeah, and also what's fun to do is take an old drawing from like a year ago or two years ago and redraw that. Yeah, Zach does that a lot and it always, yeah. it always comes out nicely. Yeah, it gives you a nice boost Sometimes of worse. confidence. Yeah. Oh, it's just good. See, you see how much your style changes, see how you draw things differently. Yeah, you know, Zach was doing one recently of an Indian guy, but like, it, yeah, yeah, Zach yeah. made like the head shape much more appealing. Like it was kind of, it was, a, it was a really good drawing like two years ago, but he made the head shape so much more like concise and nicer to look yeah, at. thank you. I, I think it's, you know, it just comes out to like dip, break hmm. itself down differently. Yeah. So that drawing, you, know, you can also do uh, characters. I do characters sometimes, uh, or even uh, I no idea. take a cartoon character, fucking Dexter's up, whatever show you grew up with, and just draw that, <laughs> draw that in your own style. 
Yeah, you drew a fucking Dexter's Lab picture. Oh, yeah, we all did that one day. Yeah. Uh, So that's my advice. When I do streams, I I ask the people, I'm like, yeah, what will I draw? Then I use that as a warm-up, and then I do commissions on my streams. So, Mm -hmm. like, just, like, I ask people what I draw, and then I'll do, that's my Mm warm-up. That's all I do. What about you, Sabrina? Um, Depending on what I draw, because I do a lot of figures and, like, like things related to drawing people. Um, Usually, like, in the figure drawing classes I've taken, they start off with really, really quick stuff, and then it gradually increases into a longer sort of thing. So you can kind of, you know, you start off really loose. Like, you're you're not probably not going to like the first ones anyway, so you're you're not committed to that. You're just getting warmed up. You just fuck that out of the way. Yeah, yeah, you do stuff that is short as 15 seconds, 30 seconds. You could do do faces, you could do whole poses, like gesture, you know, like quick stick bend kind of thing. Just whip it out. Oh, another uh, website that so handy is Pixel Lovely, you know? I was going to say, yeah, Yeah. Pixel Lovely, Castle. The 30 seconds is way too Castle, it's down. I used to oh, use it. No. I, think, I think it is. I'm not I sure. Like no, Pixel Lovely. Lovely is great. They have like so many pictures. Uh, yeah. Except that ginger girl always annoys me. <laughs> no, I, <laughs> I, I, you know that ginger girl? I think I've seen that. Yeah, the I one. have. The uh, tits. Adam Phillips yeah. sent me a uh, website that that has different anatomical references, and it's it's oh, a fucking the 3D really one? good site. It has like what's what the three D one? I'll show it. I'll, I'll post it on the description. And for our the blogs on Tumblr are really yeah. helpful too. Yeah, yeah, yeah even on DeviantArt, there's a ton of like tutorials. I'll, I'll, I'll link all the mm-hmm. ones that I have said bookmarked. Yeah, I'll really you, good. I'll, I'll send you those because like, uh, yeah. I've got a couple bookmarked too that I like. Uh, yeah. There's some that are good for like animals' faces. You know, whatever you feel like, yeah. just pick something that you're not quite. Comfortable with yeah, and go, like, go out of your comfort zone as much yeah, as you can. Just mm-hmm. like an yeah. hour, or two hours aside, or something like that, and then you know, by the end of like, it, I, I can draw really good pigs. It's like, well, draw something besides yeah, that, you know, whatever. Keep doing new is. stuff, yeah, don't yeah. do the same thing. You'll get bored and stagnant. And yeah, yeah. go ahead, Nikki. <laughs> yeah, basically, Sabrina summed it up the best just gestures and stuff. Also, like another fun technique or another activity, whatever, is like you draw a shape. And then you yeah. try to make something out of that shape. Yeah, so that's, draw, all, so that's always fun. It's, it's really, fun about that one is if you can, if you can get somebody else to draw the shape for yeah. you. So draw, yeah. get somebody else to just draw a weird fucking shape and then try to draw a face. Yeah, like at the office the other day, we yeah. were drawing shapes, like make that into a sexy lady. And yeah, of yeah. course they're like horrible looking. Yeah. But. <laughs> it's fun, yeah, yeah. <laughs> but it's fun. On this note, I'm curious, what is, what is, this is what I was asked by anybody, but I'm curious, what is your guys' favorite thing to draw? What, what, do you, what, do you, what do you prefer to draw when you can? I don't know it is for both of you, but go ahead. No, you go first, I'm curious. You say it. Safe. Let's, go, let's go back joke. this way. Hey, let's go back this way. Okay, you first. My favorite thing to draw. Yeah. I safe. like ladies. I like drawing curvy ladies. <laughs> it's fun to draw cute things. <laughs> um, kind of seductive, Ooh. devious looking. Ooh. Monster <laughs> girls is a lot of fun. Um, yeah, ladies basically. I want to get better at drawing fucking guys. That's one weakness of mine. Yeah. You go, Sabrina. Just look at the mirror. Ditto! I just look try, at like, big, try and... Look at your big man. Chris, you're on oh, thin. You're on oh, fucking thin oh, ice over there, oh, Mr. You better fucking watch yourself tonight. This is crazy funny. Chris, you better sleep. Chris, you better sleep with your hands over your throat. I don't know. I like drawing boobies and butts. I like pinups. Oh, 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 I'm gonna come. Crushed. Oh, no, okay, no. I, I, have, I, have, a story, I have a story about the pinup thing, but the, I'll save that for another one, I guess, but... Yeah, obviously pinups like yeah. figures, female figures. You're, you're like um, you're, you're that weird, but you're like sixties, you're <laughs> like sixties demon girl kind of style. Like yeah, those, yeah. Those, I love that. Those, stuff. I, like those 40s. I think that's forties. Like, that's yeah, like you like know, 40s Coca-Cola, Coca-Cola like, adverts in the forties. Yeah. That's like World War Two kind of stuff. But yeah. I, I actually, my like my favorite pinup artist ever is uh, Jill Elfgren or whatever. Um, He's like 60s pinups kind of thing. Like yeah. his paintings are like half the stuff that I do are you just based seriously on. Seriously, do a calendar. Event. I want to. If I had time. Oh, where, where, where do you go for like references? You said you. Uh, what's that website? Pinterest now. Yeah. yeah. They surprisingly, I think, I think one of my bookmarks is Pinterest. Pinup. I think it is. Yeah. yeah I think it's one of it's actually like a cat fat recommended it to me, and I started yeah. actually looking cat for like new Shout out to him. Yeah. Great animator. Sean. His name's Sean. I just learned that the other night. Great guy. Very handsome. Yeah. He just did me that last part, but I don't like. Me too. All right. I'm just putting it all out there. No. Yeah. Yeah. Pinterest is good for like if you make one specifically for art you can kind of compile references of things you're interested in like for me it's like pinup girls um like monster girls like character you know, concepts we should, um skulls things like that inspire me to draw stuff we should uh, we should all link our our stuff we use or have bookmark yeah, yeah. yeah. just all of us can we'll make it a big fucking cluster of uh cool yeah that'll help out like hate yeah, when yeah. people follow my tumblr because i haven't updated it since the like around the time i got my tablet and all well, this stuff you should start updating it horrendous yeah. get on that all right on my tumblr right it yeah, helps like it, i know tumblr's not the best website but it's still you can get a good amount well, of my tumblr is good i love tumblr on my one because Tum- i only follow art tutorials so yeah. I, I the, web, the website has a 
platform it as what it is is fine, but it's the community that's bad. Yeah, it's, yeah. that's nothing that about shit. Tumblr is like a like a you know. I, I don't see any of that. Where do people go to find all that shit on Tumblr? It's, it's, look, it happens when you start following artists and they start getting like they start reblogging shit. Like, oh, this artist is really they good. They start for their sharing their opinions. Comes from? There's oh, a lot yes. of really good artists on there who are just maniacs. I don't follow anybody. Like, yes. All I do, all oh, I do my guy follow. died today. Finally, it's like, all right, thank you. Go back to drawing whatever the. Fuck I don't follow anybody. Like anatomicalart.tumblr.com is yeah, like the best reference on there. It somehow bleeds through though. It have it to some, be. Like, I, sometimes I follow people pretty strictly that I still got some of it in my face. So yeah, I was like, oh, Corey, this website. Corey showed me one, and this is really funny and awkward, but Corey follows one called, I think, Strong and Beautiful or something, or Strong <laughs> and something. But it's specifically like super ripped chicks that are always like half naked or naked. Ooh. And and like he was like, you should follow this. And that was when I was actually studying the pinups really like specifically. And so I followed it too. And I just like left it on my Tumblr feed. So, you know, I get back to Edmonton and I go back to work and I'm, I'm on Tumblr at work and I'm, you know, scrolling through. And then like a whole bunch of these pictures show up in the feed and I'm like trying to scroll faster, just like holy shit. <laughs> so, <laughs> looking over from... my shoulder. Yeah. <laughs> like, yeah, I follow some not safe for work. Yeah, I follow voluptuous breasts. And it's like I was at the uh, when I back when I worked at the office, like I was scrolling down during lunch, was, like this nice throbbing dick right there. I was like, holy shit, look around, make sure my old boss didn't fucking then see it. Was it. His. Hold on your pants and flick the beat. That was no that was that was that was, that was an empty frame. He what was, uh, I should clarify, it wasn't like a like a photograph of a throbbing it was like like a, a drawing of a throbbing uh, it wasn't a real throbbing cock but yeah. the drawings are usually more vulgar because they have like little bits of cum coming down yeah stuff. they are it's much more like yeah oof yeah, yeah. Oof. 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 oof it's good oh. hot oh jesus now what's your favorite thing to draw uh, I just draw like people. Okay, I'm trying to do black. I'm trying to do backgrounds now too, um, like vibrant, colorful back backgrounds. I used to do really like, uh, what's the color palette where it's not very vibrant? Pastel. No, no, you just like uh, no, color wise. Mm -hmm. Oh, like monochromatic. No, not really, but like I just use. But then Zach was teaching me about colors Sepia? being nice, being vibrant. So I'm trying to do that in backgrounds, and they actually do look a lot nicer. Like, yeah, just learning about that shit. Like limited nice. color palettes. Yeah, hmm. kind of. Cool. Like just faces. You, you're really yeah. good at just drawing, like improvising too. that stuff. Like I just, the, the creases and the wrinkles in the face. Yeah, no, I, I love. I, I think my favorite stuff to draw is like stuff that pulls and tugs on the skin. Like muscle, mm -hmm. like a buff guy is fun, but you can only really draw a buff guy so because his, his, his muscles are always gonna be the same. Yeah. But I, I always like to draw like people who are old because you're not only you're drawing a couple pictures, you're drawing yeah. a guy who's a regular guy but also older. Then if you make them fatter or give them facial hair, it's like you're adding different stuff to it. Mm -hmm. Something kind of pulls on the skin in different ways. Huh. And the thing too is you can draw people at different stages of fatness, people from different stages of, of oldness. Yeah. Yeah. You can draw 30 year old guys who look a bit different from an 80 year old guy or a 100 year old guy. Yeah, yeah, you've been doing that thing lately. I was sitting next to Zach's yeah. office and he's drawing on a Cintiq like, he has on one layer it's like a young, like just a regular yeah. guy and then on the other layer it's like what he would look like as an old guy. That's a really fun thing to do. That's yeah. I recommend that it's a really fun exercise. Draw, or you can do it backwards. So you could draw like a 20 year old guy and be like, okay, I'll draw when he's 40 or 80. Or draw a really, really old guy, mm -hmm. or, really, or you know, a really fat old guy, or a really skinny old guy, then do backwards. So what, what did this guy look like when he was 30? It's mm -hmm. fun to go with that and just be like, how did the face change? How did the bones grow? How did the nose and ears grow? Cool. How did the eyes sag and so on? How, did he lose hair? That's cool. You know, it's good to like keep that. drawing ac activities fun. Yeah. Because yeah. you can s very easily get bored Just be loose with it. Just make, just make it organic. Yeah. Yeah. So I would just say faces and the house, skin ages and pulls and tugs and changes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Do you guys ever find like uh, when you do warm up drawings and like stuff like that where you actually like what you're drawing that you get caught up in your practice drawing? You try to finish it. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. That's, that's how I. That's you what, spend how five I hours in the practice drawing. Like, well, but like we'll do commissions tomorrow. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, I always do that. I'm so bad with that. I'm still doing commissions from like January. Oh, I know, me too. What about you, Chris? What do you like drawing? Um. You like, you like drawing like weird fucking monsters, right? Like you weird. like to draw all those <laughs> like shitting drawing. little kiss yeah. monsters with Yeah, with holes for dicks and stuff. With, with, with our feet are actually question. our hair. <laughs> Everyone asked my question, I'm done. Oh, stop crying. Oh, stop. <laughs> Fuck off. <laughs> Need some tissues. It's true, though. Demons, dinosaurs, skulls, fucking buff monsters. <laughs> mm. I'm sorry that asked you. Big fat titties, big fat asses. Wait, Chris, I have a question. Mountains, what? Who's your favorite artist? Like you showed me some someone's work. It was like really dark. Oh, the fucking Baskinski, I think. Or something. Oh yeah. Oh, I've you heard showed him. me him too. I, I hate that question because I don't like any fucking artist. So yeah, I'm, I'm totally kind of bad at that too. Yeah. I don't I know, know what I, artist by name. Like that's a real typical fucking tryhard answer. I don't know. I like fucking any art. That, mm -hmm. uh, that looks yeah, it's cool. just situational. <laughs> it's whatever you like. In episode twenty-two, I said that realistic art is hard to do, but 
people, a lot of people could do it. What's really hard to do, what's really, really challenging is simplifying that to an appealing art style. Mm. And a lot of people ask me, like, for what cartoon, what cartoon styles are like, so I should post some. We could yeah. all do that too. You like, mm-hmm. like kind of basic, nice, nice. A lot of people think I like John Kay, but I, I John Kay's art is really good to me sometimes, or it's really appealing. Which one's John Kay again? Uh, it's Ren and Stimpy. Oh, cool, like, yeah. Like, the Ren and Stimpy TV show is really appealing to look at, but then yeah. John Kay's actual, like, blog, it's not bad art, but it's just like, it's not my, it's not my kind of style. Huh. You know, I, I think, I think it's Billy Mandy... It's not your Mandy, taste. Uh, 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 Maxwell Adams, Billy and Mandy, I think that's a way better art style. I think that's, Billy and Mandy had mm-hmm. one of the best art styles, like season it's two. Cute. I like Ben SpongeBob, SpongeBob 2 was a great... Mm-hmm. Yeah, but, all, but all those shows had like a weird artistic peak though. Mm-hmm. It was like a weird, like if you watch the beginning of those shows and the end of them, they got, they're bad, there's a nice, there's a nice middle ground. For yeah. both of those shows, yeah, isn't it usually like season I'll, five or four of season? Of SpongeBob like, had a really good sale in season two. Season three could start to get a little bit stale. Yeah, a little bit. Can that stale? But like more like uh, kind of, uh, what's the word I'm looking for? Not computerized, but kind of uh, stiff. Not even stiff. Just kind of more. It looks too clean now. Yeah, it was too. Yeah, too. You just have this stale. like undersea rusty grit to it. Mm. Yeah, Billy and Randy had that too. By the later seasons, it had like a kind of. Too clean. So there's the same thing with that. It's like season two or three of that show. Yeah, that's because they use the same assets and stuff. I'll, I'll post a lot of different artists. I watched there's the new episode of Family Guy last night, and it was the and the premise of the show was uh, the roast of Peter Griffin, and like it, it cut to like Meg laughing, and like her shoulders weren't even attached to her body when she was her, like they were going up and down. They, I swear to God, they just like came off her body when she was like laughing. A lot of people think a lot of people think like it's all, oh, it's a bandwagon. Oh, it's so easy to hate a family guy. But if you look at it from an animation perspective, it's seriously heartbreaking. If you go back and watch season one, the comedy stuff I can forgive. It's gone. It's gone up for yeah. thirteen seasons. Yeah. You're gonna run out of shit. I don't like that. I'll, I'll just not watch the show if I don't like it. Yeah. But from an animation perspective, it's objectively lazier. It has less frames. They reuse more. It's worse. It is. So it's, if, it's coming like, from the, an animation perspective, where you guys are. Working really hard to do like frame by frame. I wouldn't mind it. But, like, well, the, the biggest thing was Chris and I used Toonbook, which is we like we 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 finally got a tutorial for how to use that. Mm-hmm. And when I used that, I was like, holy fuck! And Family Guy uses that too. So when we learned how to use it, it became way more obvious how lazy they were. Mm. When I thought they just did it like however, I was like, that's lazy. But they used so many fucking it's drag and drop literally. The exact same assets. Like, like Peter for Lachin example, would be the same Peter. I didn't, I didn't know they could do this. It, for example, if the show cuts to like nighttime and the color palette changes, you press a button. All the colors change. Yeah. Mm-hmm. You don't have to go frame by frame, frame by frame the color oh, in. Yeah. It's all done. It's super can. Yeah, all their arm yeah. movements are just like dragging and dropping frames, and then their arms will like fill in the in between. Which too. wouldn't bother me if the show had lost a budget or whatever. Yeah. Right? Like, but if you go back and watch season one or two, it had like a whatever smaller budget. The budget the budget's got bigger. Mm-hmm. It's doubled. Yeah. And animation looks worse. That, that that's why it's heartbreaking. Well, then, yeah. then, then, so I'm, not, I'm, not, I'm not just fucking bandwagoning. And he's saying, making so much money, and this show is getting worse, right? Yeah. yeah. And by the way, I, it shouldn't look like Disney. I don't. I think I, I think comedic shows would. Lo- I think comedy shows would lose their comedic essence if they look too good. Yeah. I think if you animated South Park like Disney, it wouldn't look too funny. No, well, but there was stuff like the Animaniacs that was really charming, but amazingly animated. Yeah, but it wasn't. It, I think. But for the think type it, of humor it was, it, it, it was. Kind, it was yeah, a charming. It humor. You could never animate like The Simpsons like like Disney or yeah. South Park like Disney. You have to have a specific style for it. Yeah, yours is very like bouncy and like fast. It has to be fast. Yeah. Yeah, I think it's important when you're trying to convey a humorous. Yeah. Like show it can't animation, too, whatever. It can't be too, you have to yeah. match it with the right style. Absolutely. Yeah. So that's that question answered in the fall. Okay. Really. Uh, let's see. <laughs> Answer this one. I'm going to not sesame. Sesame. Okay. Yes. They're their fucking retards <laughs> over there, dude. <laughs> I'm not a fucking retard. Yeah, I'm Vicky Dad from Seattle, dude. I got a sister stutter. Fuck you. I'm sorry, Nationalis. We're talking cousin. Serena, look over there, Serena. Look at him. He's touching. They're touching wieners over there. Oh, we're funny. That's, we're that's girls. We're guys. funny girls. Well, I'm Vicky. When I'm not gonna shout, but I trip over my titties. I always slip all over. <laughs> I'm Zach. Uh, oh. <laughs> oh. <laughs> nice. <laughs> Nice, boom! Yo, shut up! <laughs> Go. Hey, I didn't get a shit. She said that. I didn't hear what she said. I didn't hear it. Because your ears are full of gross Sorry, wax. Zach, you're better off not hearing that. that was Clean your ears out. Yeah, you gross. Bad. The next question from Patreon. Thanks for wasting your money. <laughs> uh, <laughs> 
comes from Ben Van Camp. Uh, if you could bring back anyone from the dead to be on the podcast, who would it be and why? Also, I'm gay. <laughs> Zach that, actually Zach, didn't add that. You didn't need that last part, Ben. Zach, you come out of the closet. Bob, Dad. <laughs> okay. Chris, who would you bring back on the podcast as a guest? I need guest? to think about it. I don't know yet. Start with Nikki. Like, someone we... Like, someone... A, a dead friend? person. A dead guy. Anyone who's dead. Anybody? Hitler. Hitler. He'd be a good guest. He'd be a good guest. He'd be oh, funny. for the podcast. Yeah. yeah. I, I, I get him... I go to I go to Dunkin'. I get him a coffee and sit down and be like, oh, yeah. I was like, so... How, I, how was the Holocaust on your perspective? It was a little pricey. Like, we could have done it better, you know. We, we didn't do a very good job, you know. Uh, he kind of talked like that, didn't he? You know, he actually had a really deep voice. Yeah, but then, but then, mm-hmm. so do you ever hear? Do you ever see the? the <laughs> that, that dude used a fucking. I, he's like one of those guys at Xbox who put pictures of his voice down. <laughs> yeah, yo, dude, what's up? Yo, what's up, man? <laughs> did you, you ever, fucking pussy? Did you ever hear this conversation with Hitler in a coffee shop? It wasn't. A, I don't think it was a coffee shop, but I think it was. It was, it a, was a coffee shop, actually. You sure? Yeah, I'm, I'm actually positive. Are you positive? Was, about yeah, it? yeah, yeah. And he was just having a normal conversation, drinking a coffee. With they some did that guy. privately. That was permission. They like hid behind the wall. Yeah, and they, they recorded. And he was like, "Hey, what's up with the fucking Jews, huh?" <laughs> and they're like, "Ah ha." That's stupid. <laughs> I would bring back uh, Leonard Nimoy. Ugh. Oh, yeah. Ugh. What about you, Sabrina? I'm just kidding. To be on this particular podcast? To be sitting here like Sabrina was such a big fan of you? Honestly, the most relevant and, like, I think the coolest person to have on here would be the Ed Gold. She would think, be. Yeah, that would be cool. I, Way to bring the fucking mood down, Sorry, Sabrina. no, God I mean it, though. I, I, I haven't met him in person. Jesus Christ. <laughs> You're off the podcast, uh, Sabrina. I didn't mean it. I just You're fired. No, he would definitely be a guest. Yeah. Let's go back to dead puppies to yeah, light the mood uh, up. Oh. Shit, I'm sorry. <laughs> I, I, that was a question. What do you want? <laughs> I bring back my I'm mom. just yanking your titties, Sabrina. <laughs> Stop. He's, he's just twisting the nips here. Stop. <laughs> Zach, go. Uh, who's a dead guy? There's plenty of them. <laughs> uh, I have Walt Disney out here. He'd be like, look, Walt. You, f- you it would cool. be like. He would have cool. some. Uh... Honestly, would like to see how he would like feel about Disney right now. He would know. He would. He would seriously like. He'd, like probably, that. he'd be impressed by it. Everyone's like, oh, Walt Disney could see that. Fuck that. He'd be impressed. Yeah, by he was it. like a pioneer. He would be all for the three D shit. I think <laughs> Disney's such a money hungry company. It's scary. If he was alive, he'd seriously probably be one of the richest guys alive. He, well, he was when he was alive. I think. The, who was the richest guy who ever lived? Was it? Uh, I think Bill Gates is the richest. No, guy no, no. It was. It was. Uh, who's the? But Rockefeller? Yeah, it was Rockefeller. He was worth like $600 billion adjusted for Jesus. inflation. Is Bill Gates still... Uh, no, nah, he just gives away all his money, so he's not, but he would be. He gave away like a shit. I actually, th- I actually heard he climbed back up a little bit. I think he's number one of the two now. He, he went back up a little bit. Huh. Yeah. I never pay attention because every time I look this up, I get like really depressed because I'm like, ah, oh, I'll <laughs> never make it there. How many times you could buy you over? Every time I see someone younger These guys than could me, buy countries. Like that Oculus Rift guy. Anytime I see someone like younger than me who's like way more like brilliant... And way like got way more money. I'm like, more handsome. Yeah, yeah, he's got a beautiful. He's not dick. that handsome. He's, more he's handsome got nice than you, cars. Though. He's yeah. got a nice house. He's super funny. Like, there's a, the the dude who made the five uh, O app. It's like a police scanner app for your phone. He's like a billionaire, and he's just on Facebook, and he has like pictures of his Lamborghini and shit. <laughs> that must piss you off a little bit. What about you, Chris? Who would you bring back on the? Who would you bring to the podcast from the dead? Um, first guy who ever fucked a horse. Oh, Mr. Hands. No, the first guy who ever fucked a horse. What? I don't know. He must be from like centuries ago. Dude, he would be some like brown guy. <laughs> so? It's disgusting. <laughs> yeah, I want to see what he has to say about it. Just kidding. Jokes, guys. Jokes. Comedy. I don't think that was a joke, no. Uh, guys, that's a real apology. For us. Um, I know what I just said was really insensitive to people, and I like to make a formal apology. <laughs> Go on. That was, that was it. Oh. <laughs> that was it? That was the most pathetic apology. <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, read this one, but for Christ's sake, if you make a joke with this guy's name, I'm not going to... Okay, Zach. Zach, I won't. What's his name? Which guy? Here, here we go. It's the third one. <laughs> yeah. D- uh, Dave? Go ahead. Say it. Just say it. Dave Cummings. Yeah, okay. <laughs> Wait, What? <laughs> Dave, Dave come off coming Cummings. Wait, hold on. <laughs> Dave something great. You could be is that the joke? No, uh, no, 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 no. Dave Cummings. <laughs> oh, I get it. 
Oh, like, like a wave. Oh, like an ocean wave. Yeah, wave is coming. You know, run away. Ah. Okay, so if you were the best man on earth. No. What, what's the first thing last. you would do? If you were the last man. Zach, your handwriting is uh, horrendous. See? I wanted that to be a topic of the last episode. If you, were the be if you were the last man on earth, what's the first thing you'd do? Uh, play golf off New York somewhere. Off New York? And all of New run York. away from zombies and watch SpongeBob. Well, next question. <laughs> <laughs> I probably, you know, what, what would you do if, if uh, let's let's assume the situation is this: you wake up, everyone's gone, everyone's disappeared, planes didn't fall out of the sky, the everyone's everything's just pretty much they just floating around. Up like there. a Twilight Zone episode, like you wake up, exactly. everything's the same, but people are just they're not gone. Gone. G things are still going. The stores are still going. The generators are still going. Mm -hmm. What do you do? I'd probably seriously just walk into restaurants and just grab food and shit. Yeah, I'd probably, probably, so long, I'd probably fucking pig out at first. I'd feel shitty, disgusted like, myself. Like, what would you do to survive? Yeah, like, who are you what? trying to impress, though? So. No, I just, I just want to eat food. I'd be like, oh, I'm not going to take any day. Well, then I'd kill myself. Yeah. The next day, I just eat yeah. What did electricity myself. last forever, though? A super what, sure. Well, then you're fine. What are you going to do, though? You're Chris so will do lonely. the same thing he does every day. You just fucking... Make music and draw pictures. Yeah, and then you could go to the Rocky Step and slide down them. <laughs> the end. <laughs> You suck, Chris. <laughs> so pretty really lucky. I don't know. I'd fucking... Boo. Fucking walk jaywalk. Boo. I'd be boo walk around naked. People do it. Oh, yeah. I don't I'd know. Do I'd around. fucking have sex with things. I don't know. Things? You do that anyways. You do both. You do everything you just said right now. Would as you put your pussy on the rocky steps and slide left and right? Would you yeah. go... Da, da, oh, yeah, like I'd honestly just kill oh. myself. Cause like I, yeah, exactly. I live for I need to watch interaction with people. I'd go crazy. I'd go to a gun like, shop and blow my fucking brains out. Yeah, you'd Even be when lonely, I'm drawing, but... like I would like people were like, oh yeah, I don't get so much work done if there's no people in the world. It's like yeah, no. Yeah. For it's what? Like, no, you like, go crazy with sadness, but just try and just try it. Try and live for no, it. I get puppies and kitties and live with them. There's no, no there's nothing yeah, left no. now. Nothing. There's, there's not a single All the people are gone. You can't make up rules. It's literally a Twilight Zone episode. Okay, the foods keep the food. The stores keep refilling food. Uh, everything keeps running, but there's nobody's there. But there's cats and dogs. You no, know, there's no, there's no cats and dogs. Now there's not. Yeah, no, uh, yeah, exactly. There's no cats and dogs. You know who would be absolutely at home with this reality? Jeff. Shad. Man. Shad. Oh, Shad. You'd yeah, just Shad be like, da, da, da. you know, like just keep drawing, like Shad nothing would, yeah. would phase him. You'd yeah. just yeah, like, but he'd get no like interactions with people. I'd be like Shad care. deep down in his rusty heart. He would his rusty have he would have one drop of like he would shed one tear for us. Maybe. <laughs> I would go insane. No. I would, cause you'd be so paranoid with nobody around. You'd be you like, you could try out so much stuff you couldn't do before, though. Mm -hmm. like you could go to a sex shop, use every single toy. <laughs> you so could. Say, well, you've been thinking about this entire time, Chris. Mm-hmm. What if everyone to... reappeared when you were doing that? In That's the what I'm saying. That'd be, that'd be what I'd be afraid of. Like, <laughs> so either, either I'm dead. Like, this is hell. Or you know what I mean? Like, I, would, I would assume something's gonna happen. Just I'll was... bring it all into your room and do it. <laughs> why would you? Well, why though? You don't have a room. The world is your room now. Yeah. So go all right. Next question. <laughs> Sabrina. Next question. It's Which the, one are we on? The bottom one at the end. It's the bottom one. one. All right. This one's from. Yeah, that's creepy. too bad to read. I'll read it for you. Oh. I can oh. read Zach. Start again. Thank you. Oh, his handwriting. So his handwriting right. is pretty shitty here. <laughs> oh. Okay. This one's from Creepy McPasta. You don't say pasta. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Look at you squinting now! Oh, you can read it all! Holy shit! Holy fuck! Okay, okay. No, Look no, at no, that! No, 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 no. I can read it, you <laughs> squint, it makes a weird face. Okay, read away, Sabrina! Give really. me a second. Read, read the heart. Zach. Read the ancient Egyptian. Zach. I'm sorry. <laughs> okay, um, you guys mentioned many times that you drink. What's each of your drink cho uh, drink of choice? Like, what are your what's your go-to? Uh, I like whiskey a lot. I like vodka. I like I like whiskey and Seven Up. That's a good combo. Or ginger ale. Or jizz. Yeah, you gave me some of that last That's time. That's really good. I don't like vodka. I actually hate vodka. I fucking despise vodka. I've been drinking a lot of vodka while here. I think because of Mick and Stamper, but <laughs> whiskey is my go-to. But it's not my go-to. I had whiskey last night, you know, because it's, it's the first time I've had whiskey since I fucking puked my guts out of Macbeth. Oh, I was yeah? like, no, thank you. But whiskey is, I, I like it. I, I think it's not as strong to me. I, I can have whiskey and totally feel fine. But mm. whenever I have vodka, like, bleh, I make like a weird sour face. I can't no, do yeah. it. My you hangovers with out. vodka like are terrible. I get really bad headaches. Mm -hmm. But hangovers with whiskey, it's they're, it's not as bad. Yeah. <laughs> I, but like whiskey is harder for me to down compared to vodka. But I think in the end, it's I like get intense hangovers. Man, I'd be an alcoholic if uh, hangovers didn't exist. 
I like ciders. Any kind of cider, like apple, uh, like there's like all the different flavors. There's like peach and a pear and all Blue the moon. mixes. Yeah, the what's what's it called? Oh, like summer's be blackberry cider. That stuff's good. You're like uh, angry like, or, or yeah. Like the what did we have at the brick house the other day? There's you had like that huge freaking yeah, beer bottle. Okay, dude. Look, look, I gotta explain. Look, I saw it's on the menu. Look, 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 what was the place called? Brick house or whatever. It was brick house cider. Yeah, yeah. yeah. Brick- on the menu, the first thing I see is beer bong. And you're like done. Oh, like, yeah, I just looked like it was like a child on Christmas Day. She's, she's like, like, look at this. Yeah. And you know what? Fuck you, Niall, because you had like four glasses. Zach and I, we had like one, one glass. Yeah. I had one glass from that. And fucking, and who you paid guys for are it? fucking out Who paid for it? Vultures. Who paid for I paid, it? Yeah, for, you it. paid for it. Thank oh. you, Nikki. It's okay. It was Blue Moon. I love you guys. I want you guys to have a good time. I did have a good time. 420, beer bong. I should say, though. First of all, fuck you for saying that. Second of all, I should say, I should say we don't, I don't, I don't drink that often. Like, I, I mean, Chris is like the same way as me. You yeah, know, me too, though. We don't, you know, yeah, yeah, let us drink that often. Just around you guys. Yeah, yeah, exactly. <laughs> yeah. Milk gets me wasted. <laughs> she told me I had water, and like, I couldn't drink anymore, and I fell asleep. <laughs> Chris, did you see your favorite yet? Oh, he's a cider boy. I like me cider boy. Some folk and bombers. Cider boy. Bomb- what? It's uh here. It's called Matt Wagner's or Mag what Magner's? I don't know. Fuck. Oh no, it, yeah, it's Bulmers in Ireland, England. It's Magner's, but here you get Angry Orchard, right? Yeah, ang- oh, yeah, nice. Angry Orchard. Cider. Yeah, I get. I, I just get like Blue Moon or Yingling, whatever. I'll drink Blue Moon. Blue is one of my favorite beers now. Yeah, it's really yeah, nice. It has a nice taste. It's weird. Before they used to drink uh, Shock Top a lot. We used to have that oh, all yeah. the fucking time. Those are pretty it good. Took, I have some right there in that bottle. It's pretty good. It took good. actual, mm-hmm. literally, about 400 bottles of Blue Moon before I actually liked it. Nice. But um, Mick bought this shit called Dragon Sneezes. Dragon no, Dragon's Milk. Dragon's Milk. Uh, Dragon's milk. <laughs> How did you even fuck <laughs> that up? It was <laughs> to that degree. Dragon it's, tickles. It's what? like it's like ninety dollars per bo- for per box of it, but that shit was tasty. Yeah, the alcohol percentage is like fucking eight per. Oh, eleven. 12? I, mean, 12? I had like oh, three 12. of those beers. I was done. I was like almost blackout. I, I, you I, should I, have eaten my fucking food, didn't you? We didn't. We didn't you drink that. And ate my food. So we're all watching a movie a few days ago. Zach yeah. decides to grab, make a plate of leftovers in the microwave. Heat up my delicious meal in the suite that I, that I barely ate. I was like, you know, I'll save it for later. I'll have a delicious meal later. And what a mistake that was, yeah, sitting was. down next to all these people these drinking. These fucking vultures. I was like, I asked Nikki. my good friend Zach, I was like, can I have some broccoli, please? What, what did I do? Nikki. Broccoli? What did I do? I'm a good Samaritan. What did I do? Nikki, I have a confession to make. I'm, I'm the broccoli bandit. You are the fucker. You ate all the broccoli. He was filling his tooth with fucking stupid. Bro- broccoli. I fucking, I wanted like four pizza. I saw Wait, like five pizza. You know what? I wanted my fucking food that I paid for. Oh, I had yeah. broccoli. <laughs> I had broccoli. Look, I'm sorry. I was hungry. I didn't have dinner. Here's I what happened. Drunk. I was trying to be quiet. I didn't want to scrape the fucking plate. I had one broccoli though. Shoot. But that was I shut up. I didn't want to scrape the plate and chew my fucking lips. So I was very carefully picky at it, eating very quietly. Mm-hmm. I, these vultures sort of sticking nah. their heads like zombies. That was Nick. No, it was you. What? Yeah, it was you and you and all of you. <laughs> I didn't can do I, it. Can I have a bite? Can I have a bite? Oh, fine. Here you go. I didn't fucking do it. Nikki, Nikki sticks her big fucking crypt keeper hand, her big fucking disgusting <laughs> hand, grabs a piece of chicken and starts smacking your lips like a corpse. Fuck <laughs> you, like, Zach. You I was offered, like, fine. You offered I was like, fine. Zach, I'll be nice. I'll be generous. When you, when you sat down, And I think Nick's, Nick's big Chinese eyes light. <laughs> Up. I think I couldn't they got, see. They got Zach, a little bit bigger. Listen, Zach, you sat down. I saw you with your fork. You were just picking at it for ten I was minutes. Being, I was no. I was watching you. You were I right was next being to quiet. Me. I was being courteous because we were watching a movie. I didn't want to be. But you weren't even taking a bite. You were just taking your damn fork and just stirring it. Then I leave. I go to the bathroom. I go to the bathroom. Mick is like a big fuck. He's like a pig with a big fucking of shit. He's just <laughs> fucking downing it. Like he's seriously like Mick, give me the food back. He's still eating the spoon like like a child. Yeah, yeah. You just didn't give it he's back. He's shoveling. He's shoveling it. Give it back. Fuck you, give me lunch. <laughs> hey, I, I had one piece of broccoli. Like broccoli? Yeah. Broccoli? Broccoli? broccoli. Uh, Bonopoly. Anyway. <laughs> Anyways, fuck all of you for eating my food. My like delicious food. Thanks, Zach. That was all I had all that day. <laughs> broccoli drama was two pieces of. Yeah, broccoli gate. <laughs> two pieces of broccoli and. <laughs> two pieces of rice until these monsters <laughs> fucking starved me. <laughs> Sorry, Zach. What was fun. the question? 
The question was favorite alcohol or whatever. Oh yeah. There, k- k- this one, there, Stanford gave me one that tasted like Fruity Pebbles. You guys know the Oh, name yeah, of that it? drink. I'm yeah. trying to read it because I have a picture of it here. It was like Lin- Lennon Lugan. Yeah, it was some of that. It was like Lennon Lugan. Yeah, Lugan. Yeah. It's just Sons Fruity Pebbles. Rita, uh. <laughs> I don't know what that one is. It's that. <laughs> but it tastes like Fruity Pebbles. It's amazing. Yeah, that's Ricky Spears. What would you do? What? You guys fall asleep. Yeah. You wake up. Uh. Hey, baby. <laughs> it's like the hedgehog, Jaleel White version. He's grabbing your breast. Hey, baby, Which, you ready for a good time? You were asking for it. I saw you dressing this way, baby. <laughs> I followed you home. I pick him up, throw him out the fucking window. He yeah. dodges you. What do you do? He's too fast for that. Then I pick him hey, up and baby, I kick you try, him. Hey, baby, you trying to fight back? I fucking set rat traps around the fucking floorboard so he gets stuck <laughs> on it like the wax paper. He pulls out his cock. It's actually very nice. It's also black. Yeah, he's got a nice big <laughs> black tick. I got one of those really nice ones. He's, he's sitting, he's laying back, like, you know one of those porn ads? It's like, doctors hate this guy when he's, like, laying back. Yeah, and he's one of those really cough. tasty black cops. He lays back on his back and he's like, what do you think, baby? Is this way past cool or what? You know about chili dog? Well, if, if he does that, then I'm just taking off my panties right away, because, woo! He takes the mask off. Black tick! He takes the mask off. You were hopping on that. It was actually... Sonic's dick is not black! He takes his mask off. It was actually... That's a Chris Chan reference. Chibi de Utron. No, hell no. Fuck that. I kill myself right there. Gun out. Boom. Dead. On the floor. What if Jimmy... But no. Jimmy says, wait, before you do that, look what I got stacked in my hair. He's like, he's like, heal me out. Look at my hair. I know, look, he's like, look, I'm not one of your average guys. I know I'm, I'm not, look, I don't, I don't have a lot going on the outside. And I know I'm a little bit autistic. I know I have medication that keeps me from killing myself. I know my penis, one of my testicles is very big and disgusting. Yeah. I know... But- I know, I know, I know that I probably won't live very long. I know that I'm not going to be very tall ever. Please just hear me out. I know this sounds horrible. Please just g- get to know me. Please, please, Nikki. Please. It's me, Jimmy no, Neutron. Poor genius. No, I would not, I'm not no, a great personality. I don't, I don't know. Okay, no. but, but he says, wait, before you kill me, I have an invention that I made. He, he, he takes out a ray gun, blasts himself, Sonic the Hedgehog. What would you do? And then Sushi jumps in and rips his throat out and <laughs> Sonic dies. Oh, the my end. God. Oh God! You, know, you keep re- bringing this podcast down, Serena. <laughs> Related to Jimmy Neutron, do you Go remember the black girl? Remember? Okay, easy now. Remember when she got her hair? Do they have rights now too, Nikki? Remember when her hair was like changed? changed? Yeah. I yeah, remember. What was, what was oh the yeah, they changed the you mean, the show. That should be like on the street. Like the hairstyle, the hairstyle. Yeah, the black changed. girl. What's her name? She it was got Cindy's really friend. Hot. Yeah, they they gave her yeah, they, they gave her a slutty laugh, and they also changed Jimmy's pants too. They gave him all a different haircut. They gave Sydney. Oh, yeah, they gave Jimmy white sneakers instead of little brown fucking Peter Griffin shoes. They also gave pants instead of uh, shorts. <laughs> yeah. See, I didn't notice that. I just noticed the fucking hair. This kid is all you care about is the fucking black. I love I love hair. I'm a woman. Ugh. I like Chris's hair. I want to braid it. It looks so oh. long and pretty. Oh. He's got nice hair. He does. When he runs. So do you, now. No, I don't. Nice hair. My hair's thin. When you run, it like goes up and down like a little boy. It's kind of cute. When I, when I was getting a haircut, the black lady. When, when you do dance dance, it's like. <laughs> when I was getting a haircut, yeah. the black lady was like, I love your hair. I was like, oh, thank you. She was like, I love your hair. Did you kept like sticking your hand through it during mm. that. I was like, thank you. She's like, I love your hair. She's wet now, and then, and, then she, and then she washed it. Because she gave me a hug and she washed it after. And she was like, ooh. Was she, she making direct eye contact with you? I was closing my fucking eyes. <laughs> I don't want to look. Now, I am not a racist, okay? Go on. Be careful. Um, but... You hate that dirty... Careful. What? Dirty what? Afri- African people cannot cut white people's hair. However, white people cannot cut African people's hairs. But... <laughs> Their hairs? But the thing Lyle, is... Niall. Yeah? If they were born here, they're not African. You fucking idiot. <laughs> African Americans, you goon. <laughs> they're not, they're not from Africa. They're, they're Americans. I'm they're Irish American. You were born in... Uh, you live in Ireland your whole life. Yeah. If they were oh, born no. here, and their parents and grandparents and great-grandparents were... Colored folk. <laughs> <laughs> Negros. Okay, Grandpa. <laughs> but, okay, but see, the thing is, when I went... I lived in this bad area in Trenton, New Jersey. And I went... Uh, the only hairdressers around was somewhere... Those that are just shitty haircut places, dude. Reflected the area. No, they gave, they gave some dapper American gentleman... A nice haircut before... Did you say black? Uh, before he... Before me. And then I sat down, I was like, Yeah, can you give me, like, kind of a short sides and, like, keep it a little bit on top so I can style it up? And he goes, Yeah, my man. And then, like... And then he, he cut my hair. And I looked like Lloyd Christmas out of Dumb and Dumber. And then he turned me around and he goes, 
what do you think of that? And I was like, <laughs> ah! No, I was actually like, uh, Did you do like the Home Alone scream? No, it's too awkward. I just go like, it's yeah, great. It's and really I'm home and sad. Oh. Yeah. This has been Sleepy Cast. Oh, God. Thanks for joining us. Oh, my God. We're all horny now. Yeah, but it's got Not a bit me. hot and heavy. Guys, we're gonna have an orgy. You, know, you all, you fucking sweaty nerds are gonna say, look, I want everybody listening right now to fucking lift their shirts and look down. You should be ashamed of yourself, you fucking slobs.